Hello, everyone, and welcome to tonight's episode of Critical Role, where a bunch of us nerdy as voice actors sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> hmm. Uh, <laughs> that, that, that was a start. Uh, before we jump into tonight's episode, we do have some announcements to get through, beginning with our first sponsor of tonight, Persona. Sam, go ahead. Yes, Persona, the awesome RPG video game series we all know and love and have also been voices in, with Persona 3 Portable and Persona 4 Golden available on modern platforms, Woo. you're gonna be in for a ton of JRPG action. So to get into that spirit, we're gonna play the Persona ad Advertisement RPG and start. Okay, enter my name, S. I don't know how other games work. You're also, <laughs> I got letters. Um, You're just definitely like, okay. button Yeah, 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 I'm a button masher. Okay, first decision, <laughs> let's do, let's talk about Persona. Good morning, Sat. Did you know that Persona, <laughs> the award-winning franchise that all RPG fans can enjoy has returned with two iconic Persona titles remastered and ready to be rediscovered? That's right, Sat. Oh. Enjoy both titles now, available digitally on Xbox Game Pass, Xbox Series XS, Xbox One, and more. Okay, this is a fun game. What's next? Ooh, uh, let's have a fight. My Persona 3 Portable has improved graphics, gameplay, difficulty selection, and quick save functionality. This guy will never see my special move coming. Huh? The Dark Hour strikes twice! Whoa, this girl is good. She'll be expecting my Persona 4, but she doesn't know that my Persona 4 Golden Key has otherworldly dungeons, monstrous shadows, and a dark serial murder case. Don't touch that dial! It's time for the Midnight Channel! Impossible. My rainbow charisma shell is immune to this level of advertising attacks. Is that all you got? I told you not to underestimate my power! She's right to underestimate my power. The Persona games are way cooler than me. Okay, well this is getting sad, so let's wrap this up. <laughs> and I'll select website. Check them out at persona.atlas.com. And our last move. <laughs> Thanks to Persona for supporting the show. Matt? Uh, back to you! <laughs> The layers of meta. Sorry. Make, make my nose bleed. That was awesome. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Don't doubt yourself. It's gonna be great. It's, it's, it's always good to it's always good to remind yourself where you got started. You know where you began. Thanks, guys. Bye. Thank you for sort of sponsoring us. Okay. Uh, this episode is also sponsored by our friends at Skillshare. You may know Skillshare for their classes in photography, film, and video editing, and illustration, but did you know Skillshare had hundreds of career-focused classes too? Did you? You do now. <laughs> the new year is the perfect time to reinvent your goals and yourself. Traditional work and jobs okay. are not one size fit all. Think about your future, and it can be intimidating. So let's take the pressure off by starting small. Maybe you'd like to learn Productivity tips to power more me time, or maybe the goal is to start building a personal brand style. I should work on that eventually. <laughs> <laughs> the Skillshare teachers will take you step by step through this process. Would you like to explore more creative career options? Like launch merchandise. Merchandise. That's, that's not my merchandise, it's the merchandise. Uh, on a new platform for passive income and ultimately for your own boss. See? I already learned stuff from Skillshare. <laughs> Make sure to sign up and learn what it takes to break into these industries to find the right path. As a special offer for our audience, the first 1,000 critters to join Skillshare by following the link, skillshare, skl, <laughs> skl.sh slash critical role, one, two, 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 one. One, two, 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 one. One, two, 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 one. Right, it was just quick. Yeah, yeah one, two, 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 one. <laughs> we'll get a one month free trial. Your day to day is filled with tasks and endless to do lists. Prioritize your self care and wellness by using Skillshare as a way to invest oh, in so yourself, going. unwind, and relax. <laughs> Go check out Skillshare for yourself now. And thanks to them for being a sport on show. Travis, cheat, go! I got it! <laughs> Guys! <laughs> <laughs> the first three episodes of The Legend of Vox Machina Season Woo! 2 are available right now! Yeah! Oh! Watch them! Oh, and again, and again, and again, and again. Plus, if you didn't catch it live, you can check out our watch party for episodes one through three, available right now on our Twitch and YouTube channels. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Episodes four. Five and six of season two will drop on Prime Video worldwide tomorrow, yeah. January twenty seventh. So definitely, they gotta watch one through three because that's a. You might that's as well a thing. watch them again if you've seen them. And we will host our next watch party for episodes four through six next Tuesday, January thirty first at seven p.m. 
Pacific. Yeah. 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 Thanks, thanks. Oh, shit. So excited. Laura. Yes. You're up. I'm up. Okay, mm -hmm. we got stuff. All right. We got the we first got thing I'm, I'm gonna talk about. Oh, you know our little vinyls. Oh, well, now yeah. we got Bell's Hills oh. cheap vinyls. Oh, look at Add your sticker collection. Yeah, Aren't they That's so cute? Oh, here yeah, and distribute, take them. Distribute, distribute. Oh, oh, thank you. A little oh, for them. Them. A little oh, Laud and a BB. Oh, a little oh, Fern oh, and a little oh, Imogen. Oh, 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 there's a, there's so a, are they so cute? Okay. Trent. There's also, oh, and artist Jenny Park did these. She's amazing. Uh, we also have a, just a Bell's Hells oh like black so thing you can put on things. We also have this awesome Bell's Hells awesome pin. Yeah, awesome. That's beautiful. And then oh. the other beautiful. thing, the last thing, and I'm super excited about this. You can tell. Pretty. Why? Is wait, hold on. I gotta find the other one. I don't know what happened to the other one. Oh my god, I got it. It's right here. Yeah. We have slippers! What? Yeah. We have trees! Yeah. Yeah. Look at the bottom! Yeah. 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 I do have to get little oh bear paws on the bottom! They're oh so cute! That's I already have some at home. I've been wearing them for a long time because we've been <laughs> they've been in production for forever. Um, check them out. Artist Jordan Torrance. So I know, can they're I, so comfy and wonderful. I can, I, can I say it? I want to say it. It's so dumb. What? Why have bare feet when no! you can have... Good. They're so cute! I can't believe you didn't think of that sooner. I can't believe you let me say it out loud. I know! And, and by the way, the bear paw on the bottom is like, it is grippy. Ooh, yeah, it's got it. good. So you don't yeah. slippy. It's got traction. It's actually, that's that's very very say don't slippy. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, look at all this. Awesome. Got lots of stuff. Thank you, Laura. <gasps> Liam, yep. Gang, let's talk about comic books. Critical let's Role, talk. The Mighty Nine Origins, Not the Brave, is available now! Woo! This thing is beautiful. I Created in partnership me. with Dark Horse Comics okay. and written by Sam Mags with our very own Sam Regal and Matthew Mercer. Yeah. This fucking gorgeous book was made with artist William Kirkby, joined by co uh, cover colorist Mildred Lewis and interior colorist Aaron Angelini, and of course, letterer. Ariana Mayer. Um, yes. The color in this thing is gorgeous. Yeah, the whole book beautiful. is beautiful. Look for it in your friendly local comic shops and bookstores now. Sam, you have to take I this baby home. I am so home. excited I get to hold it yeah. and take it home! <laughs> yeah. I'll learn to read. I do believe that concludes our announcements. So I would think now is the best time to go ahead and jump into tonight's episode <laughs> of Critical Role. <laughs> Till we reach the top, two by two we fall. Will we meet our friend or meet our destiny? Hold your breath and roll. How do you want to do this? It's Thursday night. All ye critters, come join us. It's time to continue our life. There is magic and mystery. Who knows what will happen? He might. Sure, we never give up on the fight. From the healer to the renegade, we all share the same goal. Adding more allies, taking more chances. Hold your breath and roll. It's Thursday night. All ye critters, come join us. It's time to continue our From darkness our friendship will rise But one thing's for sure We never give up on the fight Oh, get ready It's Thursday night And welcome back. So, last we left off, Bell's Hells, after making it to the city of Eos, the city of flowing light, gathering some information, losing Ashton for a bit, regaining Ashton, who had one of their own <laughs> separate adventures that is continuing to reveal itself. Um, 
interrogated member of the Ruby Vanguard that seems to be working alongside or under the strange, ruidous uh, endeavor that uh, Ludinus, Otohan, and Liliana all seem to be tied up in. Um, in going to the seminary, finally, uh, had some conversations with the professor about uh, the origins of FCG, kind of learning a little more about themselves, uh, while Fern and Imogen went to find uh, the professor that you've been searching for for quite some time, and one of the main reasons for coming here at the get-go. Yeah. Upon speaking to the professor and learning a bit of, a bit of information about uh, the Grim Verity and some of the work they're doing uh, and have been doing, as well as what seems to be happening underneath Ludinus's uh, interests. Ludinus Deleth arrived within that office, took the remaining elements of the Omen archive that had been long hidden, and seemingly robbed the professor of the majority of their awareness and intellect for the time being. After a brief conversation and being left to your devices, as Ludinus just left with the pages he needed, you called in the rest of your troop, you gathered the professor, called Plain Rider Rin, who you had befriended and uh, allied your various plans with, and decided that your next order of business was to search one of these three machines, these keys you've heard them referred to as, uh, one of which exists in the Fey Realm. <laughs> As such, you were transported by Plain Rider Rin to the Fey Realm. After wandering through the dark swamps of an area called the Harrowcall Fens, you eventually came to the exterior of the Ligament Manor, the home where Fern spent most of her life under her nana. This strange, alien, vine-covered, massive treehouse that you walked up within and were greeted by a somewhat nightmarish, monstrous form of Nana, both faces and all, oh. as she invited you to have a cocktail at her tiki bar. <laughs> <laughs> at her tiki bar. Which is where we return. Here, within the central space of this kind of bisected, twisting tree, the numerous branches all filtering off, a bunch of vines like tethered and pulling in different directions, looking like the interior of like a hard stretched and dark inked body that had been pulled apart and grown over. You can see these little lanterns lit up and hung everywhere, little bubbles and trinkets and collections and constructions just kind of decorating this interior space. You hear the faint sound of music and you watch as Nana, her extended head kind of withdraws a little bit into the shoulders as she turns around with a grin, clasping her long, spindly arms together and kind of rocks over to the far right corner where you see a weirdly grown cluster of shaved wood that is knotted and planed off to form a bar top that sits in the far edge of that corner. There's some extremely out of, pl out of place grass thatch that creates a canopy over it, where upon looking over in this shaded little pocket, you can immediately see a half dozen sets of glowing green eyes that just kind of blink from within the shadows underneath the thatch top. As Nana, as Mori approaches, they kind of like begin to blink off into the shadows, and she kind of moves behind, and it, like this, once she's within the tiki bar, it looks rather small. Like she kind of encompasses and fills the entirety behind the actual bar. But as you approach and kind of follow suit, it's a large bar. She's just a large woman. Um, and you get a better look. There are dozens of bat like creatures that all just kind of nest up inside the canopy of this bar. And as soon as you begin to get closer, you can see a bunch of the eyes kind of kind of flick on and kind of just glare out. You hear the little sounds up. Throughout, as you approach, they seem excited at the presence of guests as well. Mm. Um, you also see a number of snakes that slither through the woven branches that form the bar, and they come up and kind of wrap around these sets of jugs that sit on into the side of the bar. These like dark brown, kind of terracotta-looking jugs, and she immediately puts some glasses, these big hefty glasses, on top of the bar, begins mixing some things into a large bowl. 
cups it and just like <laughs> shakes it while just kind of looking over at all of you with her sunken dark sockets, little golden glow of eyes from deep within them, just kind of smiling as she looks across. So tell me about your friends, Fern. All right, all right. Oh my goodness, wait till you have her cocktails. You have no idea how good they are. All right, so where do we start? Okay, this is Chetney, master craftsman. Oh. Um, works with wood, so great. This is Laudna, the most beautiful. She died, we brought her back, and she's super powerful, crazy good with fire. This is FCG. Smile a day to you. Trust me, I want to get in there too. <laughs> and the, he opens up and he was like an assassin. Robot. Yeah. So you like, like you look to her and look back, and her head is like right there, right in front of me. You're like, oh, oh okay. okay. And it kind of oh, recoils back. And adds a few spices that she chucks into the top of the bowl, closes it up, and keeps shaking as you continue. This is Imogen. She's a superhero. In her head, she hears, Howdy. As soon as you go into the head, you hear a response of like seven or eight different voices go, Hi, 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 hi. Oh. Okay. This is Orum, who I've been traveling with for a very long time, and we've kind of befriended each other. He's kind of one of my best friends. And this is Ashton. Hi, Nana, it's a pleasure. May I call you Nana? It's a pleasure. You're allowed. <sighs> Nana to all is Nana, your look at friend. his head. Look inside. Isn't it gorgeous? She like removes one hand from the bowl and kind of is about to touch it. May I? Oh yes, of course. As she runs this long, crooked nail along the glass, you see like a dull blue glow follow from the inside. Like when you place your hand against those plasma balls and it kind of follows, you feel this odd tingling sensation within your head and for a split second you begin to like remember flashes of things that you don't recall and then they're gone again and she just kind of pulls away. Oh, an interesting fracture. <laughs> Could we talk later? That okay? Yeah. Drinks first. I, is Nana's whole second face out in the open? Oh, no, it's closed. It's closed. So it's hidden away, right? Yeah. Now. Okay. It's in the way. You just have the one, the one head and the dress is kind of pulled closed with ropes and tethers. Okay. What uh, what recipe are you mixing for us? Oh, this is a uh, this is a Harrow Call special. Harrow Call special? What's a Harrow Call? It's where we are, little metal friend. Oh. Where we are. Yeah, the, the, the region, the, the name of the home, the homestead. Herald Call fans, yeah. Oh, the Harold Call fans. I'm so excited for this drink. I'm very excited for this drink. She, after shaking it through, it pulls up this like this odd bowl, and you can see there's a little spout in the far end. And she pulls this cork off. <laughs> and goes in. Just down and just like filling each of these glasses, and there's one for each of you. Uh, it's kind of a like a brackish liquid. It looks like it has some. Thicker elements floating towards the top, and it definitely smells of a uh, uh, a citrus swamp water. Uh, but she sets the bowl down and slides them all forward towards all of you. Can you hand one down to me? Yep, yep, yep. Bottoms up. I call this the moonlight glycerin. Enjoy. And she takes the rest of the bowl and just drinks from it. Uh -huh. Cheers! Mighty size. Mighty size. Mighty size. Mighty size. Oh, I've missed your pocket. <laughs> Strong. Oh. It's got a vibe. A little. Did you bear? That's it. Oh, well, some quality mining, you guys. What's like the sensation that. like as it hits our tongues? Uh, it's very sweet. It's very sweet. Uh, the the, sweet the, the sugar hits you first, and then it begins to burn. Um, but it's like a, it's like a warm burn. It's like a, like a like a toasty, an interior blanket of a burn. Um, and does it say alcohol or does it say what is this? Both. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> yes. It's giving, alcohol. What is this? And the the light in the room begins to brighten uh, uh -oh. slowly and significantly. Uh, Just a hint. Do I have any effect? Uh, you would actually have an effect on this. Yeah. Oh, this is, did I taste it or you, just? Have an effect. Mm. Uh, I mean, you tasted it like you taste anything else, which is nothing. Which is nothing. Okay, cool. Um, but you all, for the next uh, eight hours, have a dark vision. Oh, oh so. and that hit. Yeah. 
relatively instantly. Within about a minute or so, it begins I want to kind of stuff fade and for me, Liam. This uh, is uh huh. Amazing. Whoa. Cool. <laughs> cool. Well, cool. we have been on quite a journey, and I feel like you might have some answers to some questions that we have. I'm happy to answer them. I really missed you. I missed you too, Fern, my doll. You watch as her arm reaches out and caresses her, but her hand almost like palms the head from the side, just the length of the fingers and the, the wideness of the hand across the thin, elongated arm, which kind of like wraps around her and then pulls away under the chin. Well, um, I don't really even know where to start. Well, let me get some proper music first. Oh, and she yes, shuffles out from behind the bar, and that soft music you were hearing a little when you arrived, kind of like the jazzy sound. <laughs> she goes over, and there is this this like crystal bowl, uh, or more, actually like a, a platter that sits on top of a, a shelf unit to the right of it. Um, it's really intricately carved. It's, you look at it, and it looks carved, but it looks grown at the same time. Either it was carved to look natural, or it grew to resemble. Uh, a shelf. It's Whoa. hard for even with your experience to understand which direction it came from. But on top of it, there is a uh, a matching like light blue, almost like a like a sea glass uh, top. That's about that tall. That's almost like a, like a, like a, a cone with a handle on it. She picks it. She takes it and plucks it. The music stops. She goes ahead and hums the tune for a second, and then spins the top again, and as she does, music begins to emanate from it. As opposed to the soft jazz, it becomes like a like a, 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 a gentle, swaying lute strum. Uh, and she kind of like bobs her head to it, and then waddles back over to the, now the outside of the tiki hut. She's kind of joining the rest of you on the other side, which dwarfs the sitting space around you. She leans onto the bar and grabs the bowl with the other hand and kind of like takes a sip. Continue, please. Oh, all right, okay. Um, I don't know where to start, because I feel like this is a lot. It's a lot, and it's a lot that we learned today, even. That's right. It's been a long day, Nana. Mm -hmm. Is it all right if I call you Nana? I told you I'm Nana to anyone who's friends of hers. Did, do we know, you, your name, your real name, though, is, is Maury, is that right? Morrigan. Maury, Maury for a... Colloquial friendliness. Yeah. Is there a last name or just just more? I can. Okay. Yeah, that's all she needs is just one name. Of course, yeah. So it's a lot. This is perfect. <laughs> we should start at the beginning and then uh, work towards the end. Okay. And when you get to the end, stop. Yeah. So there was this um, animated furniture. <laughs> oh, oh, that yeah. beginning. We yeah. go game by game and tell yeah. him yeah. Yeah. Every the, the extent happens. of pretty much the entire <laughs> adventure. Yeah. Yeah. We just send her a crit recap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just keep more and more smashed, our eyes just keep wider and wider. And we mostly skip the last Thursday of every month, but sometimes we change that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Next Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Scheduling, you know. Wow. Wild. That's wild. <laughs> As as you're telling the story, um, with the music playing, you hear like these little pattering sounds as a creature leaps up from behind the bar to the top of it. Uh, you see what looks to be this scrawny, somewhat shaky-looking jackrabbit-type creature with these large, disproportionate ears that have markings on them that look like their eyes, but they're just like markings in the fur. But then, where you would see eyes, there are none. It's just a nose. Is that of a Mr. Floppers or Bumpers? This and is Plompers? Peepers. 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 Oh, okay, you do. I was going to ask if other people saw that. Okay. Oh, give some scratch. As you scratch, and the, the, the wings, the the, uh, the ears kind of like flop down a bit. But you watch; they kind of like oh, wow. blink themselves, like their eyes. And when somebody talks, what? both the ears move in their direction. And it's odd because it looks just like texture in the fur, but they also seem to be. Looking places. Oh my goodness! Is it music? I love him. <sighs> All right. Wait, wait, Sits back he... on the bar. You can see the front legs are like unnaturally long and kind of like thin and wispy, like tiny little twigs, and they just kind of like fold and sit as the ears kind of 
up in the direction of Fern as she keeps talking. But you, you've mentioned uh, uh, floppers and bumpers. Oh my goodness, yeah, there's so, you have so many of my friends to meet, <laughs> and I am so excited. How many buns do you have here? Oh goodness, so many. <gasps> I have a child. What? What? I'm gonna bring oh. up Mr. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. God. Second time she's done yeah. that. Weird phrase. Look at my baby. <laughs> as uh, as Peepers looks at it, first off, Morgan goes, "Oh my goodness, where did you pick that up?" I just pulled him right out of some fire. Wow. Just plucked him right out, and then he stayed with me. I already always knew you were gifted, isn't she? Why gifted? You hear like oh, rumble from beneath the dress. Uh-huh. Um, uh, Peepers looks over and smiles like the 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 jackrabbit like mouth kind of curls open into a grin, and you see these like long teeth, and the teeth kind of wiggle like fingers Ooh. as it smiles. What? It's like we're in like a, a like Max comic book mm-hmm. right now. I'm just eating <laughs> teeth. Did this shit come out of your brain? You don't know. A little bit of call me, a little bit of call me. This is this is a this is a collaboration. <laughs> I don't know what I expected, but I'm I'm really this is great. All of this is great. More to drink. So um we're kind of trying to figure out some things about um Ruidus. Hmm. And Ruidus born. Hmm. Hmm. Um, and we've heard that there's, well, we've actually seen one because we saw the Nightmare King, the piece of glass that you had me hmm. take to him. Yes, yes. Um, How did that work out, by the way? I made that to the specifications he requested. It worked. Cool. It you worked. made it? I did. Oh, do we know? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Did was it very difficult to make? Uh, it took quite some time. Mm. It was a project, mm. kind of on the side, as I did my hobbies day to day. I figured you two would cross paths. I had a feeling, I could feel the quiver on the threads. So I'm glad that worked out. It's definitely. It was well made. Um, what, if I may ask or pry? Something like that very expensive? Like, what did you charge for it? Uh, I owed him a favor anyway. You owed him a favor? Don't really deal much in coins here, but... I sort of trade favors? Yes. You said that you did that as a hobby on the side. What do you fill most of your days and nights with? Mm-hmm. Watching. Watching what? Others. Anybody in particular? Or anybody like particularly fun? <sighs> I'm what you would call an observer. While I am not a master of fates necessarily, that resides with the matron. I, um, when no one's looking, I can add a tangle or two to the skin, should I so choose. And I just like to see who's getting tangled. And keep an eye on my sweet fern. Just ra- random folks, or? Wherever they seem to be. <laughs> causing the biggest rustles. Oh. Have There's you a seen a group of people causing a, a tangle over the apogee solstice? Oh, there are so many. I wish I could show you just how Tangled it is right now. It's exciting. Do you know about the um, the machines, the three keys? I know of them, though the details I am not as engineering minded as perhaps Ira is, mm. since I know that was his project for a while. But. Uh, yeah. Fern and the rest of us are hoping to get a look at the one that's in your neck of the woods. Mm-hmm. Would you be able to point us in the right direction? 
shouldn't be too hard to find, but yes. Oh, yes, really. yes. I don't want to break up the family. No, no, no it's no, fine. No. It's, right. it's definitely no. our goal is well, to... You all look rather tired and well-traveled. You need to at least stay the night. It's guests in my house, yes? yes? Let's stay the night. Let's have a sleepover. Yes, yes, yes. Is Correct. there enough room for us here? Oh, yes. We yes, don't want to yes, impose. Yes, if there's a motel yes. or something nearby, we could also... <laughs> There's room. What, did, what mm-hmm. happened? What? 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 No, you missed a thing. Just Just Ashley, a thing. Ashley had a, had a moment. You'll have to watch I it. I did. Lovely. Yeah. You're not expecting Ira back anytime soon. Are you close close friends? Oh, I've not seen him in years. Oh. We've, we've seen him here recently. Really? A few times. Yes. Did he ask anything? Say anything? He mentioned that he knew you. Um. I don't know what else I want. What are you asking? What do you want to know? <laughs> He's fucking around a lot with the keys. Excuse my language, miss. And, um, you know, just generally causing trouble. Yes, he, I knew he worked on the one here, and he yes, then yes, yes. kind of, you know, chaos agent jumped over into the Takes material. Takes a big sip of the bowl, kind of leans a little closer. Well, Did he say anything about me? Well, he, well. <sighs> I you name it, it Nana. Oh, is this the hot goss? You know, this I think this is the hot goss. Really, girl? First round, really? Okay. He said he could smell that, what did he say he could smell on you? Callaway. Wow. Um, yeah. Smell he that? He said he could smell that. Oh, Callaway. that ooch. Ooch. <laughs> <laughs> you With an H, with an H. Hooch. <laughs> this good smell hooch. That hooch. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the hooch. <laughs> I mean, it's coming out of jugs. It could be thumb hooch for all we know. <laughs> Jugs of hooch. Yeah, it's with a hard age. <laughs> you perverts. <laughs> Smelly jugs of hooch. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> um, I think we're just trying to figure out. Well, okay. I'm gonna be very honest with Nana, all right? Oh, because really? really? Inside check. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know that she can help us. How much do you know about Ruidus? Not much more than what is generally known. It's an odd little red thing in the Exandrian sky. I've heard many superstitions that revolve around it over in that space, and it's just mysteriously popped in and out to the Fae for a past number of years. Right now, if you looked in the sky, could you see it? That's how you can find your way to this machine. Oh, oh is it? Is it under it or something? Or? It's what keeps it here, I think. It's oh. when Ira, well, Ira almost finished it. Then they more or less fired him. Who? Oh, he stole Ira. the crown, right? Well, the Calloways stole the crown. Oh, right, right, right. With a little, little help. Are you saying the machine somehow pulls Ruidus from our home to yours somehow? It seems to carry a chunk of its essence here at the very least. It's what it's what your mother was complaining about seeing. Like splitting a river. Not entirely hmm. certain the specifics, but it's a bit odd. It's caused some ruckus in the surrounding regions. The Unseelie have been building up their defenses. There's the Shiver Keep, where they've hidden this device, and they've, uh... Shiver Keep? The Shiver Keep? Shiver Keep. Shiver Keep. God, never, ever, ever <laughs> be free of it. Nope. Not as long as we love you. It must mm-hmm. begin. <laughs> it must begin. Is that far away? It's a bit of travel, but, you know, distances are relative. Oh. So is time. Oh, yeah. If what we heard from Fern is correct. From our understanding, the, the solstice is, is approaching very quickly, and it seems what they're planning with these machines is fast approaching as well. Mm-hmm. Um, we were hoping that if we succeed in, in, in what we're aiming for here, that maybe we'd be able to get your help um, with our return. You're kind of pressed for time, and you're hoping not to stretch it out. Mm-hmm. It is quite stretchy around here, isn't it? 
Yeah. <laughs> shiver just ran down our <laughs> spine. Shiver, shiver and keep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so if, if when we do go back to our realm, we were hoping that you could help us maybe avoid losing time. Maybe you could even send us back before the before we left. Is that um, a thing that you can do? I can't send you anywhere, oh. but I can guide you to one of the doorways that can bring you back to oh. your home. Oh, okay. So you can send mm -hmm. us any when? No. <laughs> But I can help focus the transition. Keep it less random. Okay. Okay, okay. That's helpful, because it, it's possible for time to shift quite a bit. Oh, very. There are some that hundreds of years go by in the blink of an eye. Oh, okay. That would be bad, right? I don't know, I, I mean, mean uh, 400 to 500 like that, I'm kind of here for it. It would take hey. a lot of stress off, because whatever I mean, would have happened would have been dead. Half a millennia. Do you know what these machines are for? Uh, they're a bit beyond my purview. I am not a mind for machines. They bore me. What I do know is that they've, uh, well, it keeps the strange specter of Ruidus over the sun shadow realm. The sun shadow the realm? Sun, uh, Fern, you know this. The sun, sun shadow is the the overall like region where the Unseely essentially rule. It's the darker, shaded area of the Fey realm. Um, so it's like you're on the you're on the cusp of the sun shadow. You are within the Harrowcall Fens, which is just in the outskirts <laughs> of it. Because in height, there's the sable, sable cast grounds, which is within the sun shadow. That's like a smaller localized region, and then the Shiver Keep is within that. So. Okay. Um, honestly, if you have questions, you're best to ask Ira. He's, after all, one of their designers, so maybe you'll have to have him join us or something. <laughs> Could you get in contact with him? Yeah, is that an easy ask? Mm. He's tricky to reach at times. See, we had a flirtation many, many years back, and uh, it wouldn't have worked out in far too much of a woman for a spindly thing like him. <laughs> so you, I, I'd be lying if I said I didn't think about it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. So, feelings are a bit um, confusing. Mm. Sure, complicated. Mm. I get it. Well, the last time we saw him, he sort of. Um, Stole the the crown that was stolen. He doubles. Did he stole stole the stole <laughs> crown? So he stole the crown that was stolen. Yes. Yeah. The moon tide crown. The moon tide crown. Yes, yeah. that one. And he and and you know what? Never mind. What? No, tell us. <laughs> well, it was a good build up for something. It was. It was something good. Well, he's been a bit rude, all things considered. I was going to tell her that he broke the. The lens you made. Oh, it got broken. It got broken because of him. Passive voice. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> but if I may, when that lens was put in there, um, and yeah. Jin looked through, and and Orem as well. And Did you know there's a city on the moon, on Ruidus? No, I did not. Yep, there was a city. And um, a, a mesh, a divine mesh. Mm. And there's someone called Pradathos. Not someone, a something. And he eats gods. He eats gods. That's spooky. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Man. So. And Imogen so gets power from the moon. What? I do. Well, so does Chetney, actually. 
Just no, no, moon. no, that comes from within. The moon. Comes from within the moon. Mm, I smell the wolf on you. Yeah, you do, girl. <laughs> but I'm strong in these places. Whew. Plus this hooch. You have any more? Oh, there's plenty more where that came oh, from, little wolf too, boy. Yeah. Same. Yep, that one, definitely. More, please. <clears throat> None of this rudest stuff seems to be your your bag. Your bag. What like? What's your what? What do you what do you love to do besides just watch people? Yes, hobbies, starts, interests. She starts mixing around. She's like, I like to craft things, and she kind of points around, and you can see like all the weird kind of skeletons that are posed, like all these odd taxidermied mixtures of creatures, like all these. Weird paintings that are marked with different caustic looking liquids, like acid burned across leather and paper. There's just a bunch of weird crafts that are oh all over the interior of this house. She, you get the sense that she's, a, she's, an, she's an artist of some kind in her beautiful. This seems like it would have taken quite a while. Have you, have you lived here a long time? Uh, I stopped keeping cat. She like finishes making the next batch, the next drink. I have my own cup, actually. I, I plot a giant blue thimble to be filled up. <laughs> oh, I have my own cup, of course you do. <laughs> giant blue porcelain thimble. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Mm -hmm. These little um, taxidermy pieces. There's oh my goodness, they're so well done. You see, um, Chutney and I were uh, we're a bit crafty ourselves. In fact, do you want to? <laughs> should I? Do it. Okay. Oh, do, do you want to? Um. See, uh, meet one of my creations. By all means. Okay. He's a little brash. Is he going to be alive right now? Gonna find out. Well, that's a good point. Was, Wait, was he in the first? Please, place? without a dead. <laughs> 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 kind of curled up in a ball. Kind of opens the. Well, Wake up! <laughs> oh, oh, hey, sorry, I was having a little napsy. Oh, Pate. Yeah. We're in a whole nother dimension. What? Yeah, I know. We're in the Fey realm. Yeah. And I want you to meet someone very special. Yeah. You have to be polite. Ooh. Keep it in your pants. <laughs> All right. Yeah. This is, this is Maury. Maury, this is Pate. Hi. Oh my goodness, look at this little man. Do you like him? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> uh, this is a little weird. It's, it's, it's a big lady. <laughs> <laughs> she goes and like reaches out and yes, clasps him. him. Yes. And her fingers yeah, immediately like... <laughs> form into a cage around him. <laughs> oh, like oh my he watches goodness. her long fingers, like almost like if she puts her hands together, more fingers extend than she originally had on her hands, and there is this like elongated cage around Pate. <gasps> she kind of pulls it in and looks at it, and he's like. Oh, oh, this is a little nerve wracking. Oh boy! You're fine. <laughs> da, 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 can I get out of this? <laughs> <laughs> and she goes, Oh, you would be such a fine addition to the collection. Oh. <laughs> you ask me my hobbies, I'm kind of a collector. Mm. Oh. Mm. But alas, you're not mine. She puts her fingers back together and then releases her hands, and it's just back to her hands normal. And Pat Tay kind of, oh, 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 was a little, oh, good. And she looks generally kind of shaken and she's like, scoots into your outfit. Good boy, good boy, yes, yes. Hmm. Well crafted, that is quite talented. <laughs> Thank you. And what do you make, little wolf boy? Oh, anything that's made of wood. Really, the first source material of all great artisans. Sometimes they move on to other materials and lose their way, but wood, it's where it all starts. I can't help but notice the, 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 the furniture around here is exquisite. Did you make it yourself? Oh no, this is the tree's gift to me. The tree's gift? If you listen, they, they can hear requests. They can be your friends. Oh my god. They're all alive and beautiful, and they feel and they think. That's incredible. Gifts? Did they take requests? I don't know. Maybe you should try it. Does Wouldn't be as so mean... heartless as to carve the wood myself. Well, that's what I was about to, I was about yeah, to no, ask. Yeah, no, no. It's, it's yeah, more like sheer will. 
more or less, with a little respect and a little bit of a imagination. You'd be surprised what can wrap up. Right. Are you a woodcarver, small, woven boy? Well, yeah. Yeah, I just cut right into that shit. And I opened my canopies, just like wooden or oh. little sharp instruments everywhere. That's amazing! Yeah, well, you got back where we're from, the wood isn't quite as um, receptive. It's actually quite still. I love it, supple. They all have different characteristics, but you really gotta like put some work into it if you wanna get artistry oh, out. Well, before you leave, I'll have to give you some pliable materials to work with. That would be incredible. I'd be very open. I could do like a custom run, limited edition. Ah, oh, the Fey Realm one of five. <laughs> that glint in your eye, that passion. That's one of the things I collect. I feel a little weak when she does that. <laughs> uh, well, I'm getting a bit tired. It's time for her to finish the tour. And the head kind of recoils back into the shoulders as the dress opens, and their face goes. Oh, yeah, the, the, yeah. Face, the, yeah. Hi. Hi, Nana. Hi. Jenny's so kind of nopes out in the back of the. <laughs> disassociate. <laughs> um, um, this is narrative. Okay. Ish. It's kind of a. We take shifts. <laughs> That's convenient. I'm more Nana of gets a night tired person. Nana so. mm. She's more of a day person. We uh, we have an arrangement. I like it. That's that's really great. They're just kind of lolling up in like the, oh. the high collar, just kind of. <laughs> <laughs> well, Nana, I, I have a question. Um, okay. You're a collector. Yeah. How long ago did you uh, bring Fern into the fold? What was she like as a little girl? Mm -hmm. uh, she was precocious. And she was gifted for a time for safekeeping. She was gifted for a time? Oh, to you, to you? To keep her safe. Oh, yeah. From the, uh, those that sought her blood and kin. So, uh, uh, was I was I a gift or was I a favor for something? Uh, it's been a while since I've thought about the specifics of it, but I I think I was just keeping an eye on you. I watched over your mother for a while as well. Protector. For things that I uh, have a fancy for. So that wasn't an exchange for a favor or, or anything, right? Let me check. Check. And again, like now with the head kind of tucked in, the the dress pulled open, like a curtain on each side. You see the like the massive, like kind of. Uh, deep black and blue fish-like eyes, the wide mouth with rows of teeth, it's kind of grinning that creates like the half of the front torso as she kind of begins to walk along and head up the stairs to one of the various branches. And as she does so, the, the voice goes, I'll look around, feel free to show them the man. Okay. All right. Well, do you wanna do you wanna see my bedroom? We have the bedroom. We have the most beautiful garden. Um, we also have a space where you guys can stay tonight. I want to see your bedroom for sure. You want to see my bedroom? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Right. Okay. A bedroom is the window to the soul. Sure. As we begin to walk. Um, also, I'm, I'm realizing we haven't actually filled y'all in on everything that that we learned at the seminary. I, I definitely want to hear about this. I feel like we're all overdue for a chat. Yes. Mm. But we already know from metagaming. <laughs> 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 well, 
What's that? <laughs> Nana's third face. <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't you give us the tour, and then we'll say our good nights to Nana, and then we can sort of gather around. Okay. All right. and make some decisions. Yeah. Okay. We'll right. come up these stairs. Yeah, come there. up this branch. <laughs> uh, you follow Fern as she leads you up one of the spiraling central uh, two winding pillars of the split tree. Uh, and there are a new number of branches that you see kind of heading off in certain directions. One uh, looks like it leads, like the direction where you saw Nana, where you saw Mori walk off to, is one of the bigger branches, and it leads to this one branch that almost looks like it's an arm holding a large, like three-story cylindrical hut, almost, um, that itself has, it looks almost like a giant iron cage made of wood. And I say iron cage because it has like reinforced bars like you'd see on the outside of a, uh, what do you call it? The medieval cages where they put people in and oh, crows nest. Crows nest. Thank you. Oh, crows. Or crows, crows cage, or yeah, yeah. something yes. like that. It looks kind of like that, except for it is it is a it is a thatch interior of it, and it's a massive. And you know this to be her collection. This is where she keeps her trophies. Um, so you point that out, but a little ways up, the, uh, a little further up the tree, uh, there is a. A cute little like cubby hole door, and you can show them what they see as you lead them into your room. Oh boy! Okay, so um, <laughs> here we go. when we walk in, I know I got to make sure I don't forget anything. Um, <laughs> Fern's bedroom looks like um, swaths of beautiful fabric. It's like a Marie Antoinette built. Um, Bed and um, there's feathers everywhere, and if you look closely, um, the curtains are skin, mm. and from creatures. Skin? That, yeah, but I painted on them, so they look beautiful. Oh. Um, and oh. there's more um, creatures on the ceiling, and. Um, when I'm sad, Nana can make them perform. Oh. And they sing songs. Wow. Yeah. It's like a cheeky room. And uh -oh. um, there's a big, a big, big round window um, where Fern can look out onto the world. Um, but it's also, there's a cage of sorts around the wind, outside of the window. A meshy situation. Like a metal cage or an arcane cage? Yeah. Like a divine cage? No, I think it's just, it's just okay. safety situation. Okay. Um, Is that to keep you in or to keep other things out? Huh? Probably both. Mm. <laughs> but I imagine it's just to protect, okay. you know? And either of you, what do we see when we look out this giant round window? Say again. What's the view? From here. <laughs> um, so, uh, when you were approaching, the majority of the this is like the interior of the tree, the, the the large canopy of twisted vines that tangle and kind of surround it like a like a domed blanket of of green and, and dark brown. Uh, when you look through the window, it's like the vines are thinned out. Just visually, like it's it's kind of almost erasing some level of the tree cover visually from the window, and you can see instead over the constantly swirling and tangling and shifting tops of the surrounding swamp and forest. It's like just a, a beautiful aerial view of the wild expanse of the Harrowcall Fens that surround you. You can see like the cloudy uh, elements of the sky and the kind of bright pink uh, with almost an orange hue at places, almost a perpetual sunset light that pushes through. You can see where it grows shaded. On the right-hand side of it gets darker and darker, and in that distance, from this little height, you can actually see uh, like a heavy peak of these like tall, thin, uh, almost needle-thin teeth-type mountains that kind of rise up on the horizon, and a little glowing red Orb mm. that drifts 
at about the same height as the peaks of those mountains, but in front of them. Mm-hmm. In front of them. Yeah. Weird. Oh, that is weird. Yeah. Our moon does not hover in front of the <laughs> Like it's, like it's low, like it's low to on the horizon. Yeah, like it's right there. Like it's in, okay. Low, someone set low the uh, set the the background uh, props in the theater in the wrong <laughs> number. <laughs> if we had to guess, ten miles, thirty miles, three hundred miles. Who the fuck knows? Make, make a survival or perception check. Your can I can I check as well? If you like. Staring at it. That's a natural one. <laughs> Sixteen. Sixteen. On the, the edge. On the edge of the earth. Shiver keep. I believe. Yeah. So. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Uh, I mean, it looks like it's maybe fifteen, twenty miles off. Mm-hmm. Looks can be everything. <laughs> you do recall Maury in an earlier note as you were conversing, mentioning that distances are relative. Yeah. Yeah. Depending on the path you take. All right. Well, this is, yeah, this your, is. Your room is just so cute, right? Isn't it so cute? I love it. I love what you've done. Oh, thank oh, you. What kind of uh, skin is it? <laughs> it's, I, I think it was something very large. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't remember what it was called, but I helped her skin it. Uh, and mm-hmm. then, you know, we just, we, we, we did all the stuff where you, you take the skin and you make it last for a long time. Mm-hmm. And then I just started painting on it. Love it. So Great. it's just, you know. Yeah, it's all the artsy words then? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's really beautiful for mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Has it changed much since you, were, you left? How, how was it? No, moved? she kept everything as is. Amazing. Amazing. Is it a soft mattress or like super firm? Get in the bed. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Jenny, you're in Fern's bed. I know. It's super soft. It's like a cloud. A cloud of dust that came up off it. <laughs> of course! <laughs> that came off a of chutney, though. <laughs> it's also a little Not damp. <laughs> damp. Yeah, yeah. Oh. That's what bed bugs look like in the Feywild. Crazy. Being in the tropics. <laughs> <laughs> They got little hats. Um, little well, <laughs> Scrooge. <laughs> do you want? Um, I can show you all where you can stay tonight. Yeah, is there a separate, like, outbuilding, or is it just all in here? Yes. Okay. There is. What was that cage-like uh, structure or room that we passed on the way up here? That is where Nana keeps her collection. Can we see what it? What kind of collections is it? Are exactly? we allowed to look? It's just I'd love to see it. We could ask her. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we could ask her. Oh, you finally get to, well, I mean, I'm just assuming that you can probably put some of the stuff that you've been collecting, like, away. So you don't have to carry it all, all the time. That's true. Oh, we could keep that bust here. <gasps> oh, that would be really That's nice. That's right, and then we, we don't could have give to it to Nana. It with, oh my gosh, she would love it. I like having it in there, but okay. Oh, well. She would love it. Oh well, if that's a very fair point. Yeah, okay. we it's should great, give that to her as a present. Great conversation piece right yeah. next to the bar. Mm. <gasps> and you have to ask for permission? You don't seem to be someone that normally asks for permission to just look at things. That's true, but I respect my elders. Oh. <laughs> Insight check. Wow. <laughs> well, it's the the her tower. It's kind of um, I don't know. It's her thing. But getting, we could go in. You ever we could go into, try. Ever get into trouble when you were a kid? Um, get into trouble here? Yeah, all the time. What did Nana do? Um. Nothing terrible. She would just get upset and tell me, you know, don't do that. You should have done this, but also be your own person. Um, she's actually pretty great. I feel all like good advice. all yeah. very good advice. Was it from both Nanas or just one at a time? Both yeah. Nanas. Um, good tummy Nana Nana's a little, a little more strict. Tummy, tummy Nana. Tummy Nana's a little <laughs> bit more strict. Um, you know, it just depends on the day. You know, sometimes if. Tummy Nana has had some bad food. You don't want to be near her. Mm. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Must be 
hard to digest bad news. Uh-huh. Oh. Yeah. oh, wow. Wow. This, yeah. this, this, this is really good. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah show, show us then if we can't go to the collection, maybe show us where we're going to be staying. It's we all can good. knock we on can, the door and see if she'll let us oh, in. Sure. Yeah, let's do it. I really want to. So, where are you heading? Yeah, there is there's the. The undermark, the undermuck, the collection. There's Under the garden. Monk. Where, where you want to head? Let's let's go to the collection if everybody wants to see it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Everything. It's your tour. Yeah, let's do it. Name like undermuck. I could live here. Okay. You head back down and find that one solitary branch where she had kind of walked her way up to, and uh, you can now you get closer to it. You can see there's tiny little like portholes almost that are kind of pushed through the the thick. Uh, kind of wicker and thatch that make up the exterior of this large cylindrical structure, uh, with the kind of the, the fingers at the bottom of it that hold it from the branch, just kind of curling up and kind of rooting into it and holding it in place. There is the one door. It's almost like a like a, a half circle top to it, with its own porthole and uh, window in the front, uh, with curtains on the inside closed. And there's a, like a handle to hold it open. Are you saying there was like an organic lattice work? Is that what you're it's? Is? Yeah, it's it's a structure that looks like it has like a metal cage, yeah. but the but it's it's like stretched dark wooden planks that are like holding the sides of it, mm. and the interior of it is like solid wicker thatch, mm. um, building this like almost three story kind of cylindrical pill shaped structure that's just being held from underneath to the end of the branch, upward like a lantern. Oh. Um, you guys kind of like walk up the branch to the base of where it sits. Hey, Nana. It, like the first knock you get, the door <laughs> opens, and you can see now the heads wrestled in there with like a little face mask on it. It's just kind of the uh, <laughs> what, which one? the material oh, kind of kind of put it, kind of tucked in there, while the face ones pulled open with these kind of large uh, goggles kind of set onto there, almost like a like a work face, but the goggle lenses are this big, and there are like gloves on. It's like yes. Um, I just wanted to show them your collection. Please. Maybe we'll make a group persuasion check. Group persuasion. Oh, yeah. uh, I'll show you Natural my what? Natural 20. Oh, shit. Nice. Dirty 20. That's good. 25 total. Okay. Uh, 16, I think. Double checking. 14. 16. 16. Mm-hmm. 16. Oh, wow. 16. Oh. I rolled a 16 oh, as well oh. for the modifier. 16, 16 times 4 is 64. <laughs> yep. I got 18 minus 2, so 16. Actors. Maury kind of like pulls the, the thick goggles off and kind of sets them over one of the shoulders. Quickly, not long. It's not for lingering eyes. <laughs> and on the inside, you step inside the chamber, and it's shelves and shelves and shelves, like just rows and rows of shelves that completely line the interior of the cylinder with a large spiral staircase that winds up. It's almost dizzying when you walk in. As you kind of look towards the peak, it almost feels like it's tilting and stretching in real time, and the vertigo begins to kick in before you have to like right yourself to look around. Uh, but there are on all these shelves hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of glass jars, tiny little orbs, what looks to be like wooden boxes and chests, little uh, statuesques and figurines made from porcelain or clay. Uh, you can see what look to be like like fleshy faces that are stretched across uh, dried, uh, petrified fruit. Uh, you glance up and can see uh, uh, long, dead, and dried fairies that are like pinned to a piece of cork board. You can see uh, manners of eyes and dried herbs. You can see uh, whole flayed bodies that have been tanned and colored and painted on that just kind of dangle and flap with the breeze that's let in with the door opening. You can see. Uh, hanging strips of some unknown organic material, and at the end of each one, you can see a single face. And as you look at the face, that kind of sits there loose. It kind of smiles at you. Uh, this is this is a a, a a curiosity's collection of nightmares, and it is just an endless array of things that each has a story. And you're not sure you want to know any of them. 
This is what that shitty museum should have been. Where does it all come from? Look at this stuff, isn't it neat? It's magnificent. It's amazing. Now you know where I got it from. Wow. Yeah. Where does it? Maybe someday for in your collection will be as vast as this. Is there something you God, I hope so. Is there something you're particularly proud of now? Oh, I'm proud of quite a few things. How do you come by it all? Oh, they all come to me. I don't, I don't like to travel too much. This is my thing. I'm at my most confident and capable right here. And individuals come to me asking for things, favors, boons, gifts, grants. And I, I take my price and place it here. Wow. You, you, so you, you know, the time thing, the art. time thing, it's its really up to you, the time thing. It's, uh, well, we actually, I mean, we're not even talking about, we, we had a thing we were, we were going to, a gift. If, I mean, oh. we were going to give a gift, actually. We had a, we had uh, something for you, if you like. The, uh, the, the smaller sleep head, like Minnie goes, <laughs> what, oh, oh, a gift? Did, did, uh, <laughs> And lifts up the things. Oh, mm. you've awakened her. And kind of settles back into the torso as the other head is now conscious. Goes, I'm sorry, I heard something about a gift. I kind of wanted both of them to be I awake know. for this, but that's okay. I do well, hope you like it. Uh, let's. I think uh, you're gonna love it. I'm gonna need a little bit of space to get. Yes. Uh, and, all right, hold That's on. It's gonna be a thing. Should we make add it, anything it, to it? it? Some skin or something? Or some oh, she'll do it. Add she'll anything do it. to it? Clearly, yeah. she's got enough skin. Okay. You could like. donate yeah. a tongue. <laughs> here, here. Oh, wow. no, I'm gonna pull pull out the 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 portable hole and. Sebastian did have the hole. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Why? Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I know. Um, I'm gonna bring out the statue and and set it down, right in front. She kind of glances at it from behind, mm -hmm. and facing you and kind of taking your face as you set it down. If you want to turn it around towards her. Ready? As you turn it from you, the face eventually kind of filters to just a neutral, smooth lack of any sort of detail. And she kind of stumbles forward, her head craning down. Interesting. And as her head gets close to it, you watch the terrifying, like flattened, nostril slit, sunken eye face of the upper head of Morrigan begin to form out of the statue. And she kind of looks it over and looks it over. And you, you it's almost like the magic of the statue straining. It's trying to make the form, and then it kind of like picks up again, and then picks up again. And it's just like something about her presence that the, the magic is having a hard time grasping. And she kind of, <laughs> cute. I wonder. And she kind of opens the front oh, of the dress so again and begins to stand up to her fuller height, show the secondary face. And the statue kind of like, the crack begins to run through it. And she pulls away and goes, <laughs> Oh, I know this magic. It's always a pleasure to see its limits. This will be fun. I'll fix it right up. It'll be a good, uh, a good little addition to the entryway in parlor. <laughs> I was so curious to see what was going to happen yeah. from that. She grabs it and kind of puts it over to the side. Um, proud. I'm proud of a lot of things here. Ooh. Maybe the heart of the Lion Guard. And she turns around, and sets up one of the steps to an upper shelf, about fifteen up. Please tell me it's a real. Oh, heart. maybe oh, come pizza. Pizza. Please tell me it's a real <laughs> What? It's a Disney show. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Ronan somewhere in the future's going. Ronan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. I brought this thing for that years ago. Um, she goes up and retrieves something. Mm -hmm. And pulls it off of a, like a, an, an intricately presentational shelf up there, comes down, and there is a beautiful metallic locked 
uh, like a jewelry box with a little like pointed top of the with a, a, a gem embedded handle. Um, she pulls out a jangling key ring with hundreds of keys on it, and just immediately plucks one. Like she knows exactly where it is, and <laughs> opens the lid, and there inside there is a massive purple and black heart, like just a a wet. Disembodied, fleshy heart going. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Now, what it's about did this, this big. Belong to? Uh, this belonged to the uh, central champion of the Lion God. Here in the Fey Realm, there is a, a long famed, legendary uh, group of protectors of some of the, the Midlands between the various uh, influences of the Fey. The courts themselves leave the, the wildlands in between as a neutral place for meetings, competition, and all sorts of revelry and dangers. Uh, the Lion God were uh, assigned as a kind of a, a flowing guardianship over these Midlands, and uh, they Champion, uh, I helped out many years ago, and uh, to this day, he uh, he asked me to keep this as payment for the favor. Wow! Like he's still up and moving about. As long as I have this, yes. I was about to say it is still beating, which means there's wow. probably someone still walking around. That's so cool. That's incredible. Wow! And wherever he is right now, she pokes it a little oh, bit because he just got some heartburn. <laughs> I was gonna ask. Wow. Puts the key rings oh, no. back and brings it back up to the shelf. Comes back down. I'm going to peruse my collection while you rest. I think there might be a few things that could be helpful if you're indeed planning to go delve into unseely territory mm-hmm. after sure. one of these keys. I have some ideas. You're so nice, thank you. Actually, yeah. actually Nan, if you do have a second, uh, so I don't normally have any feeling uh, this this bit. This bit is kind of a, uh, not really me, it's it's uh, just uh, glass. That, I got kind of a, a thing happened when you uh, uh, were poking around up there. You wouldn't. You wouldn't happen to know why that is, or if this reminds you of anything, or? Not in particular, that is a very. It just never happened before. <sighs> it wasn't bad, it was actually really interesting, but it never mm. happened before. And she reaches out yeah. again and kind of like takes her finger and traces it along the side again. There's another like weird blue flicker on the inside, and then there's a burst, like like in a split second, just about an inch outside of Ashton's head, you see this like miniature disc of dark black and purple clouds with speckles of light, like this tiny little galaxy that just apparates just inside of his head, and then shuts. And she pulls her finger back. Oh, no, 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 I'm not touching that. I don't know what that is. I don't like it. Did you touch the? What? Did, hmm. did she touch the wood? I don't know, that kind of, that was weird. I, I just, that was like a little, I don't know. I, that, that scared you? Like out, kind of what? It's odd, you look at her and like, she has this, this, this expression like, <laughs> a mistrust and surprise. Hmm. Not fear, but like she just burned herself on a stove. She's like, mm. Apologize. I don't know. This is its own thing. I don't know. FCG and I have gotten burned in there as yeah, well. Yeah, I, I didn't think you'd be going in. That's to... a dream. Uh, what is it? What is it? I don't know that sensation. It is weird, and I wouldn't recommend going all the I could actually show you. Do you want to see something weird? <laughs> Wait. Let's maybe not do this in here. I'm going to step outside, and I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to. Rage, I'm going to just try and make a, a nice surge happen. Okay. Pop rocks. Pop rocks, let's see what happens. Pop rocks! Uh, that is a parkour. Parkour. Oh, that'll be fun. Uh, yeah, it's the uh, the time shift. The the, uh, the red and blue phase just sort Got of pop you. off, and I was like, I'm trying to get one direction and the other, and it's all just kind of popping back and forth. Right. She kind of watches, mm. and the other face, the, the 
center of it kind of pushes out of the dress to watch. Now both faces are kind of a, watching Ashton give this brief display. Is this something really, really cool. And I'm I hit hyper rage, and I'm just gonna like hyper rage. Fucking, I'm just gonna, What's hyper rage? In one in one place, I'm just going to move. Uh, I'm I'm like in in like around four squares. Right. Uh, um, like flash, like uh, 160 feet in one in one round. Just yeah. I can yeah. do mega healing, and then I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> this barbarian, uh. barbarian goes to 11. <laughs> so yeah, I just in in a in a fall, in a small four square, I just move 180 feet in six seconds. Whoa. And drop. Ashton. What in the world? Okay, I'm good. Did you cool. the flash? How long have you been able to do that? I don't know. What? Why also, you... it happened when I did it a little while ago. Uh, actually, I don't. I guess we were all busy punching things, and yeah, that that was the thing. I just figured out how to do uh, a while ago. We should all go work in the kitchen more often. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah, but like Imogen said, they got stuck in there. Yeah, we got I... stuck in his brain. <laughs> this is stupid. Oh my god. I love you. <laughs> I, it's recently occurred to me that I should probably ask people about this. I don't want people to get hurt in there. So I'm. It's strange. You seem smart. Of course. And it's. <laughs> the best I can describe is whatever magic resides in that crystal feels very new, yet very old. That's a start. If you ever, th if you ever think of anything, I'd appreciate it. You're, you know, you're the first of a collection of clever people. I'm figuring I should. Poke I'll think this. on it tonight. Mm. Okay. Mm. Oh, yes. mm. oh, wait. Before we put the hole up, uh, can I, can I reach in there? Or could you get, grab the, um. Oh, the bloody apron. Yeah. Butchers. Where did I put that? Oh, I, the butcher's thing. Oh, yeah, hold on. I know where that is. That. I'm she holding in. It. Yeah. I may have reorganized everything. I'm sorry. It was just a mess. I Wait, throw it over the, to, to the side of the. Wait, organizing? Yes. Oh, I got it. This is a particularly strange item. Turn it off. I'm calling out. <sighs> it always bleeds. <laughs> <laughs> she kind of cranes in and looks. Interesting. Right? I feel like this is my aesthetic for the Fey Realm. I mean, it's pretty good. I like it. It's a good look on you. Yes, I agree. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> yes. And it's just coated in fresh blood. It's very cool. I come out with a little fancy pipe and I'm going to start lighting it up. Oh, that's when I'm okay. <laughs> folding up the, pulling up the, the stuff. Mm. Please continue showing them around. I'll get back to my nap. And she puts the uh, <laughs> the uh, sleeping mask back on as the other face kind of emerges from beneath. I'll keep looking for something that could be helpful. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. I really appreciate it. We should probably go to bed as well. Yes. Let yeah. me take you to the Undermuck. Okay. How does he eh? Sounds okay. comfortable. Yeah. Yes. Is that the last part of the tour? Is that where we're sleeping? That's where we're sleeping. Yeah, the, yeah. It's the last part of the tour. Cool. Hmm? Yeah, the undermuck was technically the last part would be the garden. The garden. We're going. Yeah, okay, the garden's at the top. The undermuck's in the bottom. That so, sounds up to you. appropriate. Yes. Where, 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 are, where we are we sleeping? sleeping? Okay. Um, sleeping would be the garden. Probably. It would be the garden. Oh. Let's go to the garden. All right. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So you. Good morning. Good morning. Morning. Yes. Brunch in the undermuck. You follow Fern up the spiral of the central tree, passing more and more branch extensions. The vine canopy cover begins to thin further and further the higher you get. Uh, well over 120, 130 feet, 150 feet towards the top. Eventually you come to the apex of the last twisting branch before they splinter off into almost like a platform comprised of the heavily tangled branches. And as you step out onto it, you're above the woven network of long, thin trees that create the entirety of the uh, fens around you, and you're now with an even better view than what you saw, kind of the illusory image from the inside of Fern's room displaying. Here, you look around you, this kind of hidden heart of the treetop, a majestic garden that is a a menagerie of beautiful and alien plants and hedges and flowers that have been carefully cultivated to create a glowing display of strange 
fey magic around you. There are dozens of floating arcane candles that just kind of drift through the air, bearing orange and blue flickering lights. They just kind of slowly move in wave-like patterns in this like ever, ever so faint circle around the entirety of this wide garden. You can see hundreds and hundreds of pale glowing fireflies that just kind of move and weave around the space, through the bushes, through the air. Um, you can see arches that kind of just stand between different walkways that wind through the hedges uh, with these large fen flowers that kind of tangle through, uh, not terribly unlike the ones that, greet, that greeted you when you arrived here in the space, but these have more variety in their colors and look spotted. And as you kind of watch and approach them, you watch as they follow you and you hear, they're like gasping and ooing as you approach. <laughs> More or less. Um, you begin to walk by them to see a series of contorted topiaries that resemble warped people comprised of thorny shrubs. Like they've been shaved and, and manipulated to look yeah. like people in mid-pain, various tortured yeah, poses. They're really people, aren't they? Sure. They have a little bit of pain. Yeah. Can we get a little closer to those and just make sure they're just shrubs? Sure, go ahead and make a nature or investigation check your turn. Uh, 16. 17. Uh, I mean, you look at them, and they are definitely plants. Oh, definitely, definitely little, little plants with bushes and uh, leaves and little berries. It, it, they're they're plants. Cool. Um, they're very dense. No semblance of. They're, de- they're very dense. They're very dense. They're very dense plants. They're de- definitely people that were turned into plants, yes. right? There's no like shoes at the bottom of the roots or <laughs> fragments of clothes. No. Any see, jewelry on the. No jewelry, no shoes. They're, it's, they're extremely detailed. It's incredible that somebody could, could, could sculpt such detail out of a, a topiary bush. Yeah, they're incredible. incredible. Do they look like they're heading in like a direction? Or are they all like... No, they're like, all, they're all scattered device? to be their own beautiful, terrifying little art pieces in the middle of this garden. Fern, what can you tell us about these? Mm. Oh, yes. Is this your um, homecoming date? <laughs> this yeah. actually... Um, Hang on one second. I just wanted to make sure. I didn't She's looking it something. up real quick in her mind. That was something I wanted to remember. Mind palaces can be a, can mm-hmm, be a trick. Mm-hmm. Not always. Um, <laughs> what did you? I'm sorry. What did you? What ask are me? these dead, dead things? They're plant people. Are these yeah. really people that were turned into plants? No, I made these. Oh. Yeah. These are, these are my design. And they're not oh. people. Oh. I feel like Hannibal Lecter says that. Um, I don't even think you're proficient oh. in nature. <laughs> well. I can, I'm not, but if I have some scissors. Oh, okay. You know, just. You do these by hand, not by magic? No, just just snip away. You know, you just snip it and you just make it, make it in a beautiful pose. Friend, did you turn Inside Inside shot. Shot. <laughs> <laughs> Make a persuasion or perception based on the truth of your answer. Or deception. Natural 20. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. For a total of? Oh. Wait, what, uh, insight, right? Mm-hmm. Er, 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 22. Um, 29. Oh, you bitch! <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, you rolled a natural 20. I did 20. 20. I rolled a natural 20. She got a natural 19, and she's fucking awesome. Well, I think it's crit, crit successes on ability checks, technically. Oh, don't like, count the same way. Not, it's not like an automatic success, wow. but it often gives you a little boost on it. But the difference between a 29 and a 22 is still pretty extensive. Yeah. yeah. Wow. It's a gut check. Yeah. They're definitely strange. Yeah. They definitely give you the willies. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And sometimes you may hear like a little bit of a thumping noise. Oh my god. Oh my god. What do they smell like? I'm going to put my noise? face next to one yeah. and take a Where is the thumping Where is the thumping Are we sleeping in, in amongst <laughs> no. these? No, well, yes, but let's, here, there's a back house. There's, we have a, I have an amazing place for you guys time, to rest. You begin to hear a oh, no. <laughs> And you see a shadow suddenly come around from one of the hedges and oh. start rushing towards all of you. <laughs> Before it stops. <laughs> Sweet pea? 
What? Hey! You see a massive, rotund sun bear. <gasps> sun bear? With a wide underbite. And oh, an actual sun bear. Oh, an actual, just like good looking sun bear with, with an underbite and this long, kind of like fluffy poof of a beard at the bottom of his chin. Um, who's just kind of holding on to one of the arches and like, <sighs> I just got to get my breath for a second. All right, all right, good. bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Oh, hey, big boy. Wait, what, what, is it, what is his name? What's sweet this sweet is Sweet Pea. Sweet, sweet Pea, yeah. Oh, this is one of my really good friends. Nice to meet you. Oh, Hi, Sweet Pea. Yeah. Haven't had a ride, haven't had a lot of new guests oh, around here. Oh, that's a nice tone. We're like getting a tour. It's fantastic. Let me see, what is the sun bear, show me? I mean, I know there was a big old tongue. They're very they look like um, Ooh, they're that's a big tongue. They're yeah. and they've got and they walk like people. like a weird like oh yes 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 yes, 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 yes. Yeah. and this one is very roly poly. Yeah, very very fat. Um, nice I, to have some new blood here in the in the manor. Nice to meet you. We got plenty of room in the garden for a few more topiaries. <laughs> Oh! I knew it. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh. He's just joking. He's just joking. I saw, He's just joking. I saw you looking at him from a distance up close, so figured it was kind of a joke. Uh -huh. <laughs> we would make these together. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow. They're great. Yeah. What's the yeah. thumping sound we're hearing? Oh, that's a secret. Okay. <laughs> I know. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Are you? <laughs> yes, yes. I don't know what you don't the tech tech said not really mean. I, I only have a fourth level left. We're going to bed. So yeah. you only, you only roll once. Fourth level detect thought. Okay. The, the surface thought you get is I want to get back to that bowl of oats. <laughs> oh. They interrupted me, <laughs> but uh, just don't want the flies to get to it. <laughs> Was there his current surface thoughts? Sure. Yeah. yeah. So um, the thumping is just is just a secret. Oh, it, I, I keep to the garden. I don't really know. Uh, I don't really know what the thumping is. I just when it happens, I'm supposed to water them more. Interesting. Yeah. And is, is it huh. uh, is it in unison? It's one thumping sound for the entire garden area we're in, or? Are we hearing it out of sync in different places? Well, you're not really hearing it at the moment. Okay. If, you get, if you get close to one of the bushes, you can kind of Sure, hear I'll it. do that. Okay. I'll side Does each bush have its own thumb, Trying I suppose, or is there just one unified? Stupid passive yeah. perception. Which is really hearing. ridiculous. Yeah. <gasps> Boom. What is that? <laughs> Boom. Does it sound like it's coming right from? Boom. It does. From a topiary person, or that's just yeah. a, a that's a person. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes with art, you shouldn't really analyze the process too much. Yeah. It's just more about taking yeah. it in and you know it makes you feel something. They're not people. Interpretation of the message. Oh, no. yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna just I'm gonna put my hand on Orem's shoulder, and mm. in his head he's gonna hear. I mean. What do you think is worse, ending up as a flayed person in a collection room or a, a living topiary stuck in a certain spot forever? You hear it. I'm not questioning it. We got shit to do. <laughs> it's got to be rough to is supply it? the raw material for art. Because this conversation's happening since you are reading Surface Thoughts. Mm -hmm. You also get from Sweet Pea uh, about the, the thumping sound. I never quite really figured out why. I may ask her what thumping is too. Now I'm curious. <laughs> like, okay, not an inquisitive sort. Get the sense that Sweet Pea is is just kind of happy to be here. Great, for you, you, you've mentioned Sweet Pea before, but um, did you guys grow up together? Did Sweet Pea look after you, or were you more like? Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, just best of friends. I mean, you're meeting you're meeting all the hits, you know. She was real rambunctious, hard to. Hard to keep up with, always running around, causing trouble, and then I'd get in trouble, and then we both get in trouble. <laughs> yeah. Hasn't changed oh. much. Yeah, it hasn't oh. changed much. Not gonna lie, I kinda miss it. Me too. But it's good to see you first. It's really good to see you oh. too. <laughs> Big old yeah. boy. He hugs her and looks back at y'all with his weird eyes. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh-huh. So are they moving in too? Well, just for the night. Just for a little bit, however long we're gonna be here. Are you staying? Yeah. Okay. As long as we have you back. Okay. I think he's asking if you're staying like forever. forever. Oh, well, I'm not staying forever. No. I don't think. <laughs> I know. Well, we'll see. Oh. I know. Oh, boy, look at your face. You can't say no to that, Fern. No, you can't. I, well, we'll see. You might change kind of your mind. Saunters back over to the edge of one of the nearby. Like, he's, he's like, Visually, physically pouting with his whole body as he walks over to one of the branches and goes and plucks a leaf from it, starts chewing on it. You know, I hear sun bears have tongues almost as long as yours. I know. Yeah. We should compare at some point. But he's a little sad right now. I never heard of them talking, though. No. No, no. me neither. No. I've never heard flowers scream either, though. I've never seen a. a a person with a head on their stomach before, but mm -hmm. you know, lots yeah. of things happen I mean, here. So many new discoveries. Yeah. yeah, it's a little different. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I mean, also where we've been is very different yeah. for me. You yeah. know, it's not so are we. Same. Every day has yeah. been a new horizon. The sand. So deep, Ashton. Wow. Oh, I've been thinking. Oh, I can kind of see how the skin could be really, really disturbing if you had some, suddenly seeing it somewhere else now. That makes sense now. I was wondering why everyone was weird. Well, like I mean, it's basically oh, leather. Uh, all right. It's leather. That's, it's leather. Yeah, I can, see, I can see how that would be weird. Yeah. No. Right. Yeah. That is weird. Sweet Pea has now returned from his pout session and goes, Yeah. I'm over it. <laughs> <laughs> Good boy. Move on. Welcome, friends, for the night. If you need anything, just let me know. I'll be up here in the garden. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sweet pea. Um, we're just gonna go to the our little Lombardo. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right this way. Is this where we're sleep? Sleeping? This is where you're gonna sleep. Oh my! This oh. Is where and then wanders off deeper oh, back into the garden. <laughs> Those must be some hell of damn good oats. Your family's great, by the way. This yeah, is really this amazing. Is, uh, this would They're be a so wonderful nice. place to grow up. It it's, was. I had such a wonderful time here. Yeah. Yeah. I wish we could visit under more relaxed circumstances. Yeah. Yeah. I think if you want on this business is done, we can have a little. Vacation. Mm -hmm. I really like a vacation. Yeah. Yeah, no vacation. I feel better about the stomach pun. That would be amazing. No? Really? Yeah. yeah. Well, where would you want a vacation? Not here. All right, that's fair. <laughs> well, you haven't seen all the really amazing parts of this place. We haven't. Yeah. Are you sure? No. I, this is just. I mean, well, of the Fey. Oh. Of oh. This realm. Outside that. Mm. This house home still. Oh, the home you got some more people yeah. furniture hanging around. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. wow. Following Fern through this elaborate garden, almost like a like a hedge maze built to the top of a tree tower that overlooks the entirety of the surrounding landscape. It's 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 a very unique kind of plucked out of one space into another with just one crossing of a threshold. Uh, as you kind of sift through the clouds of fireflies and the various singing flowers, the this very Kind of almost like that, that sweet smell of rot that seems to emanate from some of these flowers as you pass, as they kind of sing and hum, like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. some of them harmonize, some of them create discord and sew it together, and it just shifts left and right. It's it's very odd, um, but eventually, following Fernando knows directly how to get there. You come to uh, one back section of this garden where there is this beautiful little purple wood uh, vardo. With like uh, some brass trim and a couple lanterns on it that just kind of uh, flicker behind frosted glass. Um, it's got a little like double door on the side with, with wooden steps that lead up to it. It looks like it's about maybe ten feet by eight feet. It's cute, you know. It's it's not massive, but it looks well made and kind of like sits in the middle of this garden like a centerpiece. You ready? That's cute. Mm -hmm. Talus is super excited too. Go ahead. <laughs> Step inside. <laughs> I'll shoot straight okay. at that. Yep. <laughs> Roll initiative. Yeah. Um, you step inside, and the interior feels oddly larger than the exterior. Like, while the, from the outside, it looked like it's 
that small space, the inside is about a 20 to by 30 foot chamber. Whoa. Um, it has three large beds with silken black linens covered in patches of just heavy furs that are thrown over them like blankets of different colors of like bright reds with little dots of spots of white in them. Uh, some kind of brown and black, almost wolf-looking furs that are kind of laid out in other sections, and it's, they're all just like these three massive guest beds, more or less, within here. Um, there are these, uh, there's this like deep, deep blood-red paint across the inside walls on the, uh, the wood that's uh, used to kind of form the interior here. There are these long kind of golden cables from end to end that have small, like small little lanterns that hang from them, that have these little candles in them that just kind of flicker and glow, giving this the soft kind of uh, ambient light to the inside. Uh, it smells like a, like a like a burning rose incense on the inside of of this Vardo, uh, and there are tapestries across many of these walls. They all have a s very very similar art style. It's a lot of like stark black and white. Uh, art that are just like long stripes, almost like it almost looks like, like like tiger stripe patterns that form like long tunnels and like shifting tunnel work. And then as you kind of look at it closely, you pull back, and the overall design of each tapestry looks almost like a screaming face. And you take a moment to focus on it. You're like, oh, that's upsetting. <laughs> and each one's unique and different with different orientations. And there's about seven of them across all these walls. And once you kind of take it in, you look around. Oh, oh, okay. Such a tranquil environment for sleeping. Mm -hmm. This is the guest house? Yes. Did you do oh. this? No. There seems to be a, a theme of like pain and agony and torture. Sometimes when I do, you know, sessions with people, I have them sort of draw draw things as sort of a, a, a window into their inner thoughts. Oh, really? and, and And sometimes fears and sometimes desires. I hope it's not desires. Well, who knows? <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't do these. Okay. Aunt Nana already had these here. Oh, okay. Did Nana collect these or yeah. did Nana make them? We should ask her. Okay. I think she collected them. I don't think she made these. Mm. I hope not. We should check. Yeah. Great. Well, the beds are comfy. I'll go sit down on one of the beds. Pick one and flop. Oh. Should we make some tea? Tea? Um, or something? Sure. I don't yes. know. Just a little night, night, night sleep yeah, time tea. For the night? Is there night here? We've been Twilight? In three different dimensions today. Yeah, we should it's probably it's just go Oh my god. We <laughs> Do we want to yeah. have a meal or something? I mean, fuck. I don't. Okay. I don't consume food, so <laughs> I'm, fi I'm fine to just shut down for the night. Um, but did you. Have we told them? So much has happened today. About oh, your new... It's a secret. It's oh. a secret. Oh, oh shit. Oh, I'll surprise them. Oh, You're doing God. really bad about the secret. I can hear you whispering. Secret right in front of us. It's fine. It's fine. I do want to speak for FCG. I'll just, maybe I'll have a little gift for you all in the morning. How are you feeling, by the way? Not good. <laughs> you need to sleep. Truly terrible. Oh. All right. Well. All right, so we're in for the night. Cool. Well, I guess if everyone's tired, I'll just tell you about the... The red alien beings in the morning. Cool. I, I, what? I want, I want to hear. I want to. I want to hear about I want this. To hear about, what are you talking about? There's people called Rylora who live on the moon or something. Is that the shadow people you think you've seen in your dreams? No, I don't think it's the shadow people because those I think were Odahan's armies that she's accumulating. This now, you read this or? No, this was information from from Professor Sumal uh, before. She, her brain was turned to mush. Um, yeah, apparently people who uh, have the ability to to see Pradathus or whatever in their dreams, mm -hmm. there's been multiple people who, who, who have seen the red storm in their dreams, like they're walking on the moon or something, and um, they started getting visited by Rylora. Yeah, by exultants. Right, that's what. Like what? Which is right, the Lord. Exalted. The exalted. Oh, yeah. And they've been visited in visions or in physical life. In but, dreams. In dreams. But he just the, the way Sumal described them mm. is is like creatures made of red energy, um, who sometimes are friendly, sometimes are 
very much not. And I can't help but think that sounds like that 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 thing that just um, that I, you brought out on the airship. Yeah, mm. that I didn't from, know where it brain. exactly came from. Right. Yeah. Huh. So anyway, I don't I don't know what any of that means, oh, but I'm sure it's a coincidence. Absolutely yeah. coincidence. Yeah. And you, you, you dreams of walking on the moon. You think you're in your dreams that you've been on Rudis? I mean, that's what that's what seemed to be the yeah. It seems like it. The thoughts. Also, like my mother and Odahan, so they both can do that, yeah, right? They, they they both can go into like dreams. But they have a way to push themselves into other people's dreams. Something that I cannot do. Yeah. Wait. Like, oh, oh, but. Okay, this is going to be a little stoned because I admit that drink hit hard. You're always a little stoned. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, now you're one up. Now you're one up. You'll never see it coming. <laughs> You'll never see it coming. Yes. Maybe Fair you point. can. Like, do you have a like? I know you. You think you have a body when you go to the moon, but like, do you have a body when you go to the moon? Like, clearly you don't, because your body's here. So what's going? Like, are you in somebody else's head up there? Are you entering their dreams? Are you like, how are you or up there? Or they are in my dreams. Are you a big red energy person up on the moon? Am I? I was in are a you dream like with you. Were? You looked like you. All right. There are plenty but of that might have just have been, like been... that. That just might have been like a, a dream in itself. Like like what? Like maybe there's something connecting to you. I don't well, know. Ashton astral projection is also a very known thing. It is. Like the yeah, like the out of body uh, right. thing. Right. I mean, that's what we did for yeah. for you. Yeah. Um. I mean. Yeah. Maybe. They said that. Like like with my my mother before she would go to sleep, they started playing violin music for her before she went to bed because that's what uh, calmed her. And there were certain smells Lavender. that right that she loved. Yeah. So maybe if I can just figure out what sort of things are like that for me, maybe. Oh. I don't know. So it might if be you're something. soothed, you might be able to control it more. Maybe. Oh, oh that's you need like a massage maybe. before bed or anything. From you, Chet. Well, I mean, I would happily volunteer for anyone that needed a little stress. You know relief. what? My, my feet could use a little bit of work. You know what might soothe you or, or calm Listen. you <laughs> in a dream? If you've been down there, I'd be happy to. Would be Laudna. Chisel for the. For the no, I, yeah. But I mean, I, I could bring her into your dream. We did. Uh, we have talked about trying to do this. Right, and we, yeah. we have not done it. We could try. Maybe if we. Um, you know, I love, I know you love your your tea and maybe like the smell of things that remind you reminiscent from home. Maybe that would be calming. That's true. Maybe Aurum could help, you know, make some herbs or flowers. Flower? Um, y yeah, um, there were um, these, these flowers um, that grew in our fields, they were really pale pink, mm -hmm. um, very, very full, um, similar to a, a peony, if you know what that is. Yes. I think so. Yeah. Um, and I, I haven't seen them anywhere else in our travels, actually. Okay. Mm. Uh, he just sort of holds his hand up by your hair and um, pulls a, a small bloom out of his own hand, and it is not exactly as you remember it. It is skewed, the color is skewed slightly towards the color of your hair. But very similar. I've never, never made that one. Is that close? It's very Make a nature check for me, if you don't mind, Owen. Okay. Um, it's a 13. 13 like not, craft. Bad. not bad, yeah. It's, it's not exact, but it seems to replicate uh, a lot of what you remember. It smells very similar. Thank you, Or. Okay. And as the conversation goes on, he just starts absentmindedly making another one and another one. I used to keep these in my room. Very beautiful. Um, I'm gonna go get some herbs. Hey. I have some ideas. I have some. Uh, well, I have cooking herbs. I don't really you have. You do? I've got some stuff. Okay. I think we should get some lavender. I don't have lavender. I think we should get some blue lotus, because that helps with sleep. Oh. And maybe 
some skull cap, because that's how you do lucid dreaming. Oh. So, make a little tea. Yeah. I mean, I don't, who knows? Maybe, maybe Rudis can't reach here in the Fey, Fey realm, though. Like, maybe I wouldn't even have those kind of dreams here. It's literally right there. Yeah, but it's different here, right? Maybe it doesn't have the same power. Maybe I wouldn't have dreams here at all. Maybe you'll have more intense ones. Or yeah. maybe you'll be able to control them more. Can I ask yeah. before we go full flatliners? Um, <laughs> <laughs> the, these red beings. What what did the professor say? Did, did they know who they were? Their no, they said that anything? once the exalted exultants started pushing into their dreams more, the more the Ralora would start to show up, and. It was, it was not something that was comforting. It was, it was a very scary uh, development, and they they backed away from it when when the Ralora started making more and more of their presence now. Okay. They, I, I, I might be wrong, but they also call them dust walkers. Was that right? The crimson beings, and they're like dream state beings. And I think. Professor Sumal said that there are kind ones there, yeah. and mean ones. So hopefully your pal is a kind one. Yeah. He's a little grouchy, didn't he? Well, Testy. Hmm. Well, he's probably he's protecting protecting. Yeah, he's a protector. Yeah. He was protecting us. The first one. Speaking of someone making their presence known, ah, uh, when did Mr. Deleth Come into this whole thing. Oh because gosh, gosh, yeah, you guys. That was um a little al alarming. No, oh, yeah. yeah, it was. It was. Um, he's very intimidating. Yes, there were about seven locks on the door. We locked every single one, and when he came in, he just booped, unlocked open. them, open inside with us. It, the, the the worst part was is that the Omen archive was like right there on the table, right there. and then as soon as they were unlocked, you know, Professor Sumal was pushing them off the table, but. It was almost like he was so intimidating that I didn't, it was like he would know if if we tried to grab it. I wanted to grab it. I felt like we were stuck. Yeah. Like we just watched and we didn't do anything because we didn't know what to do. After seeing what he did to Sumal, I, I think it was the wise decision not to intervene. Mm -hmm. okay. I would have been Incredibly distraught if you would have um, scrambled your brains. Yeah. Well, n knowing what the Cerberus Assembly wants to do and knowing who he is, and he's top of the food chain. He's very old. Very old. Oh, and um, Sumal had a theory that, I mean, this we kind of know, or maybe it's a running theory, I don't know if it was hers, but that the flares are the ways for these beings to, to reach a person and hold on to the tether. Oh yeah, that's right. Huh. That's so maybe that's why it gets intense. Maybe so you have a tether. You could have a tether as well. Well. You were born under a flare. Yeah, but I think it's just not as strong. I don't think I have a friend that comes out and is like. <laughs> well, that's what mystery is. That's what mystery <laughs> Mr. Get has that a gun. Molly Shannon. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. hangs off your shoulder, just holding it near. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> oh, and another thing. Sorry, I'm, this is a big download. No, please, we so, missed everything. <laughs> sort of. Ludinus. <laughs> I know. That Even though you heard it off. familiar to me. <laughs> Ludinus <laughs> is not rude as born. Oh, he that's was right. very jealous. Yeah, you could tell. Yeah, you could tell. Anyway, I'm Probably done. mad because his name rhymes with Rudis and just nothing. Oh my yeah. gosh, such yeah. a missed opportunity yeah. without Armstrong. Mm -hmm. um, How do you feel about all this, Imogen? I mean, everything we've seen and everything you've shared with us, these people that we're fucking with, they are trying to get a hold of you and we're kind of running into it. Yeah. It's weird. They make some good points, right? I mean, 
Are the gods that great? Some of them. We don't know. We haven't met a god. I'm not gonna say I'm a fan. It was fascinating talking to Daldus. Did, did Ludinus mm. reveal anything? Share the same phase air. Just you could tell he was He was very opposed to the divine. Didn't believe that people who would receive their powers from the gods should, he didn't think they were worthy. Hmm. In a weird way, that makes me wanna find out more about the gods. I mean, I don't, I don't know much. All I got is a coin and some, some advice. But maybe if we find out more about the gods, we'll know why these folks are so anti. Maybe. I certainly don't like the idea that a lot of people could be wiped out with this one event. I, I, I don't like. I don't think he should have control over it. Just one person deciding the fate of so many? Certainly not that person. What guarantee do we have that what he believes is what will happen? I... Uh, your men uh, mentioned dipping her fingers and meddling a little bit with fate, and I mean, we know the raving queen ascended into godhood. It does make you question a lot of the entire structure and system of it all. What would happen if they were all gone? Would new people rise to their stations, or would we actually change? be free? Would we would anything change? If Pradathus devoured the gods, would he stop at the gods? Or would he devour the entire world? All I know is the folks who are doing these keys seem like real bad folks. Mm -hmm. And so we should, and your mom's messed up with them. Seems like the only way to get to her is to at least make ourselves known. She's working with Ludinus directly underneath him. He works with her a lot, he said. Who knows if he's telling the truth. And you've talked to her and she wasn't like, it's great, come on down. No. She's telling me to stay away. Yeah, I mean, something's going on. Besides, clever argument is not what makes a good or bad person. Everybody can make a fucking clever argument whether or not they believe it or not. You see someone being a cruel piece of shit, that's a bad person no matter what they fucking believe. And I've seen some cruel pieces of shit around this thing. That's all I'm gonna fucking yeah, say. I don't really need to debate it. I lost my father and my husband to these people. I'm not on board. And some of the gods are terrifying, and some of them have put their thumbs on the scales for people for centuries, even in the last few decades. Who are they? Who are we? To decide who lives or dies, god or mortal or otherwise. I don't think they have any good points. Got that poor person in the library, like, that was just mean. To that it was right. today. It was just fucking mean. Yeah. What a day. It's a, a little, long day. It's been a long day. Yeah. Probably we should sleep. Going to God. kill many more people ourselves in this process, though. Us? Yeah, it well, feels like we're going into battle, right? So, in a way, we're also about to be arbiters deciding who lives or dies. I'd like to say there's a difference, but I don't know if that's true. I've done a lot of bad things, and I'm not, I don't feel bad about a lot of them. Which few I do. You said that the, the Matron of Ravens, she was just a normal person before and then became that's a the god? Story, yeah. mm -hmm. that's From the things story. I've read. <laughs> a few I know. Well, so anybody can do it. 
I mean, I guess if you try hard enough to. Um, are you are you thinking about that for yourself? Is that something you want to do? Absolutely. Oh, okay. No, I mean, professor, I professor, professor leads God. to God. Um, I'm yes. Professor God. Professor God. Yes, <laughs> Professor God. Interesting. That's no, I don't major want. Major tenure. I don't like. <laughs> major, Just yeah, below God King. Point. Professor God. <laughs> I, I don't like I making decisions, so. Could be the, Shetney, the god no. of no decisions. You've been very the god of, yeah. the god of quiet. quiet. My god, a little bit. Oh, that's true. The god doesn't really. No, he makes make decisions. Sure. I don't like him. What do you make of all this? I mean, it's any god is cakewalk. Simply eat your wheaties, take your vitamins, don't swear, stave off masturbation. Boom. You You're right do up there. I do all of those. I mean, you do yeah. all of you. Yeah, I get rid of all that shit. I don't want to be a god. But I also like how it's been the last 400 years, so people trying to uh, fuck all that up. Not a fan. Brought me to y'all. 400 years? Aww. Damn, you're so old, Chetney. You're yeah, you should take advantage of that wisdom. I'm an open book. I know half this shit already. I'm just letting you guys figure it out for the first time. I mean, he does have a fair point. How old is Ludinus compared to, to him? You're, you're probably the you closest. You mean yeah, oh, you know him by name? Old, by school, old school pals. Oh, did yeah. you guys, were you guys in a fraternity together? I want to see this no, one. he didn't like it when I kept taking his girlfriends. <laughs> Ludinus was talking about the calamity like he saw it with his own eyes. Yeah, he That's likes right. to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Chetney, do you remember much about post-calamity times when you were a young spry? Man. Oh yeah, Sadie Hawkins, three seventy-five. Yeah. <laughs> You're mad fit, though. You should write a book. I am mad fit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you remember the uh, people having resentments? We were tired. Yeah. No. No. In fact, I remember being quite taken with all of it a long time ago, and from everything I heard, it sucked. Everything after the calamity was awful. I mean, they had to start over. From scratch, just wipe the slate clean. It was something like a third of the world just. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. Mm -hmm. I'm not up for that. Why? They all died. All the gods were fighting on the face of the earth. They're huge, and we're. I mean, I'm already pretty tiny, but. I mean, I guess if anyone lived through that, they might have a chip on their shoulder. Yeah, oh God, you were there too. Why do we have so many old people I in our group? I am a killing machine. But you don't remember? <laughs> oh, oh, that's right. Oh my gosh. We. Well, I don't want to. Once again, I don't want to speak. I want to go to sleep. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't want to go to sleep. Also, yes. I also think it's just a little I'm bit. Kill you. I think it's a little stupid <laughs> to think that they're trying to just release Pradathos. It seems so simple. It's some basic bitch shit. People like Ludinus, people have been around for that long. They want to use something like that, bring it under heel. Yeah, and he's not telling us his whole game plan. No, he's Absolutely gonna not. tame that thing. I think you're right. Fascinating. Of course I am, baby. I, I, <laughs> I think people who want power, why would they let someone else take it? <laughs> Does he want power? Yeah. Shut up and go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Just tell me I feel like if we're role playing question. that we're gonna go to sleep, we feel like yes. we really get to go to sleep in real life. I know. Yeah. One more That's question great. before we definitely go to sleep. Do you want to dream tonight or not? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely do it here. Come on, this is prime. Well, I don't even know if it'll work, but I mean, sure, I can try. It doesn't work. I've never no, no, gotten no, this to is control important. when I dream Imogen. before. Dream. Dream. What See, the worst from? part of it is if it works, <laughs> he's now going to take credit, <laughs> yeah. and if it doesn't work, it's, it's kind of like not going to matter. Right? Like if you, if you tell somebody to hiccup, then they don't do it. I'm Wait, can I have it? Oh. Do you mind? I'm just going to do a thing really quickly. Are you ready? Uh-huh. Dream. Oh, okay. Oh. So if it works, it's my. It's me now. My stick. It's yeah. my thing. You if it happens, rub, okay? it's not you. <laughs> I'm not going to fucking work. I'm gonna steal your chisel and I'm gonna fix this thing that's happening with my middle toe. <gasps> I'll work on your feet, just don't fuck up my chisel. Needs carpet. <laughs> Imogen is surrounded by like 80 to 100 uh, flowers now. Oh, there's so oh, many. Yeah. Let's do this. 
Let's do this. Oh, I don't even really I can really actually use an app on Fox Out. Okay, yeah. There, 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 there is a handful of clusters in the garden, oh, which has God, a wide so array tired. of different plants. What if I bamf myself into like Odahan's head? What am I going to do? We'll be there. Perish. We'll be with you. Crush him up and put him in the incense. Mm. Okay. I can snuggle up next to Imogen. I give her like a little like scalp massage. Yeah. Just playing this game. Mm-hmm. Wow. I'm gonna do the hit the pearl of power, restore a spell, cast shared dream. Alright. Bing bang gonna, boom. Bing bang boom. I'm gonna crash with you just in case anything gets weird. I can knock you unconscious like a proper friend. Oh yeah. I'm always might. here for it. I oh. might just kill you in your dream, but we'll oh. figure it out. Oh. I'd like to see you try. Oops. Happy traveling. You casting yeah, shared hold dream. My, hold mm-hmm. my hand. I'm gonna wrap our arms, like I'm gonna kind of twist our hands so that like our Our red threads are touching each other. Okay, so you're bringing Laudna in with you? Yes, I can do that. Okay. As you all kind of gather your materials and your bedding and prepare for a comfortable slash uncomfortable night of sleep, depending on how you gauge the atmosphere, you, Imogen, begin to close your eyes and concentrate on whatever imagery you wish to guide you into a night of dreamful sleep. As you feel Laudan's arm tethered to yours and you lay next to her, you gather the energies within this particular incantation, FCG, and let the energy flow from you into both of them and complete the circuit with yourself. As the familiar scents, the comfort, the warmth in the Vardo, and your friend's proximity, you begin to give in to that comfort, that warmth, and find yourself drifting, drifting into the darkness, into the single tiny speck of glowing red pierces the shadow and beckons. That's where we're going to take a break. Oh. Ah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's oh, a no. nosebleed. <laughs> so it's we'll, we'll go ahead and uh, see what happens next here. When we come back from our break, uh, oh. hang tight. We'll see you in a few minutes. Oh, oh, oh. The Dark Hour, a time period hidden between one day and the next. Welcome. I've been waiting a long time. When you use your persona ability, you must channel your inner strength. We have been expecting you. Exactly is the plan against four dragons? Fuck shit! Ah! Uh oh. 
<laughs> this is gonna be fun. Ah, I am very flammable! <laughs> How about we get a drink? <laughs> Oh, well, that's a new record. Usually takes us 10 minutes to get kicked out of a palace. Vox Machina. These weapons were created to strike down the gods. Find them to defeat the dragons. We don't have that effect on people. We're trying to save the world! Ugh. Look out! You are super fucked up. That's new. We need to get inside that dragon. Through a mouthful of acid, no way. The other way. Oh, God. The Legend of Vox Machina. Watch now, only on Prime Video. My balls are ice cubes. What are you Don't you worry, Uncle Grumpy is gonna I, keep I, you warm. This is actually kind of cozy. About, 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 we go. I'm asking you to open your heart to chaos. I'm either very unlucky or cursed, and I don't believe in luck. I am your god. Long may I reign. I want to unlock these mysteries. I want to dive as deep as I can into that ocean of the unknown. I am of the Empire, but I am no friend to the Empire. I protect him. He's my boy, and I keep him safe. You need me more than I need you. We may be heroes that no one knows about. Mighty Nine, all new original series coming to Prime Video. Hey Critters, Laura Bailey here to guide you through what's new in the Critical Role Shop. The cuteness, it's overpowering. You need this? You probably need this. Could anything be more perfect? Oh, so comfy cozy. Look at this. Isn't it fashion? So much fashion happening here. This is pretty badass. Style should never be a dumb start, darling. It's the little things in life. And hey, if you want, you could head over to the Critical Role shop right now. Now go live to a special address from the President. Hey, 
Hey dweebs, now as your president, I've been kind of killing it lately. I gave global warming an atomic wedgie, I balanced the budget by selling my pog collection, and I saved the Queen of England from that octopus. But my kickassery is far from done. According to this chart that I made, an estimated 35% of you are still a bunch of nasty goobers. But don't worry, I have a plan. Operation Gag Me With a Spoon. It's easy sleazy. According to the study that I wrote, if every citizen subscribed to Critical Role on Twitch, we could reduce maximum goobage by a metric buttload. Twitch is the only place well, you'll get a live and moderated chat. And if you subscribe to Critical Role, you instantly get access to all their shows as soon as the live broadcast ends. So while you're oogling these Critical Role dorks with their sick goof em ups and their nutty voices, think of me, Gail, the current president of whatever. Now I gotta go make a fresh batch of spitballs, but I guess I have some time for your boring questions. You. Gail, is it true that if you subscribe to Critical Role through Prime Gaming, you have to resubscribe every month? Uh, yeah. I do it right after my monthly prank call to pee on O'Brien. Next question. Does Critical Role have exclusive emotes for their subscribers? Uh, do we? Of course they do. I like the Hello Bees one because bees are cool. I replace my whole security detail with a bunch of bees that think I'm their queen. Last question. Yeah, with all due respect, is Operation Gag Me with a Spoon a real policy, or are you mad goofing? <gasps> Am I mad goofing? What, do you see me scarfing milk duds while doodling ding-dongs on the Sky Mall catalog? Listen, I know I'm new to this, and I admit that when I made the wish to be the boss of everything, I did not know the witch that works at Woolworths was listening. But Faustian bargain or not, I am the president now, and I have an obligation to lead this country. So to answer your question, no, I am not mad goofing. Security, take him out. <laughs> Later, shot records. And welcome back. <laughs> so, as we left off, Tried and true. <laughs> in this dark shadowed expanse of the early gentle wanderings of this shadow dream, you see that distant red glow. And you get closer to it and closer. 
You glance to your right and to your left, and you see these two gentle, flanking orbs just emanating warm, familiar energy. Is that me? That's both of you. Oh, okay. Shut up, patience. Oh, two orbs. Okay. 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 You drift closer and closer. And at first, it looks like it's the red moon. But as you get nearer and nearer, it looks more like an opening, like a circular gateway that leads to red light beyond it. Like a little, little window. Okay. And eventually, as you get close enough, it looks like it's about big enough for you to go through. I look back at my two little buddy orbs. <laughs> I think we can talk. All right, so I can we talk? Okay. I, think so. try. I don't know. All right. Wait, we try talking. You hear them talking, though it is in this kind of like estenetical thing feel to it. And like they're not quite as close in their heads, but it's there. I'm gonna, if I, if I can move or do things, I'm gonna just sort of push this one forward closer to you, just so you get, you get, you can figure out who's who. Okay. Imogen! Hi. Hi. <gasps> this is awesome. <laughs> You're a cute little orb. Oh my god, I've always wanted oh, to be an what? orb. My phone, what happened? Oh, I just you got, got your, your circle. I got a red circle on my watch. Whoa. You just did it. What's happening? Fuck off, Pradathos. There's a flare. Um, I look through the hole, and do I see? What can I see? <laughs> you glance past the opening, and as you kind of peer through, you feel like an extension of the forest that surrounds the tree, but it's bathed in a deep red light. Like there's just this ever-present underglow of fiery light, but no flames. And this feels like I'm in the same forest that we've been in, or, or is this a different place? It feels similar, but you don't know the landscape enough to say it's directly familiar. I'm gonna push through. And I'm gonna go through the opening. Okay. Do you follow suit? Mm hmm Yeah. You push through, and you drift, and you look down, and beneath you is just this endless rolling landscape of munches, Munches. Munchkin. Mountain, Munches. Mountains punching up. That's why it's mountain punches merging. Mm -hmm. uh, munches. Munches. <laughs> scene. <laughs> <laughs> mountains punching up through this ever dangerous looking cluster of brambles and threatening looking overgrown landscape. And you just kind of float above it all. That same kind of red glow, just glowing from underneath. Can I reach out my hand and and touch the orb next to me? You turn around to touch them, and you look back from where that window you came from, and you just see Ruitus right there in the sky, like you had just stepped out of it. But it seems small. It seems about that size. It's like a portal. Can I look for the the machine? Is the key around here? Make a perception check if you like. Get rid of some of these dice in here, because you know what? I think they're bouncing on each other, and it's just yeah. You don't see any key. You don't see anything else beyond just the sprawling, twisted forest region beneath you. 
And it's just that odd, glowing, semi-ethereal ruidus before you. Is but you're a, certainly within a dream. Is this, and they, they are still next to me? The orbs are, yeah. This isn't quite what I imagined it would be. Do y'all see the key anywhere? I think we're still in the Fey realm. I think so too. Can we look? Yeah. Can we look? Uh, both of you can make perception checks with a disadvantage. With disadvantage. After all, this isn't your dream. Oh, it's not our dream. Whoa. I rolled both of 13s. Ooh. Thank you. Yeah, weird. I got a 15. Um, 18. Okay. 50. Okay. No details. It it feels kind of blurry, like the forest floor is just beyond your clear periphery, and it's just kind of, the details wash a bit within the light and the texture. Um, but looking at back at Ruidus, it, it, it's a weird optical illusion where it looks like a solid object, but then almost at some angles it looks like, like a hollow opening, like it's a, like it's an inverse gateway as opposed to a spherical object. Can I go back to the opening? Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna think as I get close to it, I'm gonna think of my mother. Okay. Of Liliana. You step towards it, and once it looks like a like a spherical object you can touch, and once you think of your mother and put your hands to it, your hands go through like an optical illusion, and then your perspective shifts, like the statues in the haunted mansion that are actually uh, yeah, the, like the inverse faces where you're like, oh, this is this is an opening, and you pull through. Again, and now instead of a black expanse where you started, you are now within a rapidly dust-filled, red, familiar environment. Do you both follow? Yeah, of course. Mother. Mother? As you focus on her, I want you to make a d20 roll, adding your spell modifier. Mm. Is there a way I can get close enough to guide her? To give her a boost? Yeah, you're present, I'll allow it. Okay. Guide, it's guide. Okay. Okay. Jesus. That's giant. Go. <coughs> 23. Three. You concentrate, you remember best you can those old memories of her before she left that you hadn't thought of in so long that you saw in your dreams recently. You remember the sound of her voice when you contacted her. And as you concentrate, you feel a direction of the storm pull towards you. Like those nights that you look up to the red moon and you feel this tug, this instinctual yearning. Do you follow? Yeah. And you follow? Yeah, of course. I think back at Laudna. I wish I could hold your hand right now. I'm glad you're here, though. I'll be right near you. You push through this ever-growing dust storm, the wind getting louder and louder, until eventually you come to the precipice of a pit, a wide, deep pit. There's sections of scaffolding, there's elements of Platforms and cranes and structures built on the outskirts of this deep pit. A 
What do you do? I head down into it. Okay. You drift in over the edge, and you feel the gravity of the pit. Though you have been floating weightlessly, there's a, a draw downward, like some sort of a an energetic flow, like like the course of a river, but without water around you. You feel yourself kind of being picked up by some sort of a, a driving energy, and it carries you down into it at a speed that makes you briefly uncomfortable. The two of you kind of get swept up with it as well, carrying you forward. You pass, as you go down into the pit, other platforms and uh, rope and chain-based elevators and this kind of a long, spiraling lattice work of structures and ladders and, and, and you see shadows, shades, quickly. Like, like the, the imprint of, of people burned into space, but they're not material shades across these platforms. You plunge deeper and deeper, and that's where you see structures, old structures. We're in the city. This is the city. It's not large enough to be a city. As you get down there, it's like a, it's a ruin. It's a ruin of something. You see towers that are being excavated. You see clusters of these shades around, mucking in the space around it. You see signs of massive constructions moving through and carrying things and pulling them up and out. Imogen, this might be pulling you towards where your mother is. Yeah. North Vios, maybe. In the center of these ruins, you can see these kind of curved, pointed structures that all eventually seem to be intentionally built towards a point, a central Location. There are buildings and, and domes and uh, broken arches and stone decorations and, and, and things that look like what was once a robust, small uh, townscape of detailed and beautiful construction that fell and was buried to time here lays partially bare as the earth and dust around it has been pulled away. In the middle of it, you see one mighty tower that drives upward like a massive three-pronged fork that kind of curls into itself at its apex. Here, along the base of it, you see the glimmer of a familiar structure. A telescope-looking device. Many more shades around, mm -hmm. dozens and dozens of them, wandering in and out of these ruins. Do they seem to notice us at all? No. Some are brighter than others. Most are just dark, but some of them have a faint red glow to them. Those are the exalted. Maybe. One of them, you see very clearly. A woman with kind of deep lavender hair, braided in the back, long coat. She just walks through, inspecting things. She's awake. Can I go up next to her? You can, yeah. She looks older. Can I reach out and 
Touch her head. Yeah. The minute you do, she stops. Mother. You shouldn't be here. I can help you. You have to go. Make a wisdom saving throw. Five. She raises her hand like this and looks towards you, and suddenly you feel like everything around you stretches and pulls away, like you're being dragged down an extended tunnel. Miles and miles away, your mother's face becomes this pinpoint at the end of a long hallway, and you're gone. The two of you. I need you both to make wisdom saving throws. Oh boy. Oh. Rollo. Hello. Ooh. 19. Natural one. <gasps> Ooh. You feel that, that no. pull as she begins to get yanked through this space, uh -oh. and knowing the matter of this spell and the connecting tissue that you are to it, you reach out and grab and full, feel yourself too, zoom, being pulled back through Connected it. Connected to her? Yeah. Okay. But we lost Logma. They're both gone. <gasps> Do I still see a lavender-haired woman? You see a faint lavender coloration to one of these shades. You saw the one that you were, that Imogen was going towards and interacting with before you watched both her and FCG's energy just <laughs> flicker out. I'm going to attempt to Seduce. telepathically, to telepathically talk with Imogen. Imogen, okay. I'm still holding your hand. Certainly try. <laughs> Make Constitution saving throw for me. Aww. Cute. 20 total. 20 total. And trying to recall the physicality of your body, the, the sensation of being a whole being beyond just your consciousness and your flesh, but as one, you feel the cold power that's within your body, the, the power that was granted to you and the power that's inherently yours. You grasp that cold and you shake yourself back to consciousness. As you do, you feel yourself torn from this space and it is harrowing, but you do wake up and come to consciousness. They're still asleep. Um, as both of you are pulled out of the dream by your mother, uh, you both come to consciousness oh. as well. So you all kind of wake up relatively the same time. For the purposes of this, uh, when you do sleep for the evening, you achieve a long rest, but you wake up with a point of exhaustion. Just her? Just her. Oh, no. All right. Shit. Why can't you dream better? I'm sorry. I didn't want to get lost in another I've been there. dreamlike space. It's scary it's in there when you get lost there. But oh. we saw some crazy stuff. That's, Are that's you good. okay? No, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I mean, Where's that your mother? Oh, wow. She looked really nice. Yeah, and beautiful. Really sweet little handsome woman. Yeah. That was the, um, 
it's got to be the key. Uh, I can I can go to someone when they're not asleep. Mm-hmm. And talk to them. I can only imagine what that's like when they're asleep. Yeah. If you're that powerful when they're awake. That means that, wait, that means that they're able to spy on us. They're able to see what we're doing. Yeah, but she was aware you were there and-, and It wasn't until I got up close to her. But there wasn't a lot of detail. It's not like we were overhearing conversations or anything. We just That's sort true. of sensed their presence. But it's, it is useful. I mean, you can, you can reach out to somebody, anyone. And we know where that key is. Yeah. Well, we saw it. In a pit. Yeah. That matches the description that we heard of the excavation site. I wonder if the key here is similar. Is this the next morning? This is the middle of the evening. Middle of the night. Just okay. The rest of you are probably resting mm-hmm. still. All right. Uh, I get I'm... up and I do my usual routine, get a glass of cool water, bring it over to Imogen. You need to have some of that too. You were... It's very exhilarating though. Mm-hmm. It's so different when y'all are there. Yeah? I mean, yeah, it's, it's not, you know, terrifying. And that's not what your other dreams have looked like. No. No. Do you they think may be that's... different now. Do you think that has anything to do with the Pharaoh, or just because you're more powerful? I don't know. Wonder if you could go visit lewdness like that, or go visit, I don't know, Thule. Probably. And mess with them, or convince them, or distract do something. them. something. Hurt them? Maybe. I wonder if you could hurt them. Influence them, plant a plant an idea in their head that they get. They wake maybe. up the next morning and they're like, oh, I think I want to turn over Oh, I think I want some bagels. Maybe, yeah, maybe I'll be an accountant. Yeah, or that. <laughs> <laughs> we should sleep. Yes, we oh, should. All right. <laughs> how, how many people can you? Pull into the dream like that. At least you two, maybe one more. But I don't you know. and, and two other people? Yes. I think I don't know if you would want Chetney in your dreams. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I want Chetney in I'm my I'm just dream? saying, I'm just going through down the list. Ashton could be good but unpredictable. Worm would would be nice to bring along, mm-hmm. just because he can see a lot. Yeah. Do the wall you hear. Listen to your heart. Warren <laughs> 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 would be really smart. Warren would just be fun. He'd have a fun dream. Yeah. Probably like bounce on clouds like it's a trampoline or something. That'd be great. Just ignore <laughs> Ruidus there and uh-huh. just like go bounce on some clouds. Why not? You should use these dreams for something other than just being terrified. <laughs> Take control of them. Yeah. All right, let's go to sleep. All right. Okay. You all eventually return to a less focused, much needed evening's oh, rest oh given oh the day's God, previous events. But you all get a long rest. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm gonna wake up a little early. Look at all those empty boxes. Oh, that's better. <laughs> you wake up in within the empty, somewhat chilly Vardo here at the top of the tree. The ligament manner. I'm gonna wake up slightly earlier than everybody else because I think I only need six hours of rest versus their up. eight. Is that right? Huh? Possibly after yeah, your um be. your rest mode. <laughs> yeah. And I will. Uh, I'm gonna do some baking. Okay. Aww. Do you have ingredients stored inside of you? As I well? raided a kitchen when we were. You did. Oh, that's right. And I got a recipe, and I got an oven, so I'm gonna be cooking. Okay. The rest of you wake up to the wonderful scent of something cooking. Fresh and localized. What do they smell? 
They smell my best uh, attempt at an Eshtros. Um, oh. An Eshtros, what are he, the recipe was cookies, Ginger right? Maple Ginger maple cookies. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make them biscuits, though. Like little scones? Yeah, I'm gonna have, have them in a little pink box. <gasps> <laughs> little Did biscuits. You get some? Oh my god. Little biscuits for people. <laughs> oh, it's just like a pink box on Ted Lasso. Uh -huh. yeah. 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 He's brought it full circle. Did you really bring anything in there? Ted Grasso. Oh my god. Ted I, put, Grasso. I put some cookies in here, but that was when we played last game, so they might be a little stale. <laughs> <laughs> They've been sitting in there for quite some time. Yeah, I want to try it. <laughs> you have a boxing mechanism as well? Uh, yeah, we're just going to say that, yeah, I also in installed a boxing Are mechanism. those the cookies that I made, or are the cookies you that got bought? These aren't yours. <laughs> is, that no gold? is that what we're checking for? Delightful. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll give one to Chetney, one to you, because you need. Oh boy, you look like shit. Yeah, um, you just look a little tired. These, and I have dark are these circles under cookies? my everything. And I'll give one to you too, Imogen. Yeah, these with are like these, good berries? with these, these cookies, like you get, <laughs> you get four, you get four temporary hit points. Oh. Wait, is that right? I can prepare enough of this food. I'm sure get ready if he gets eats the food and spends one or more hit dice. Mm -hmm. Jesus, I can't read all this shit. <laughs> Did you give the exhausted dead lady a temporary yeah. hit point cookie? Yeah. I think I think so. I'll read it later. But you get you get a boon. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. A boon cookie is what I'm gonna put it, or a boon biscuit. Boon biscuit. Boon biscuit. There it is. Yeah, yeah. Boom biscuit. I like it. Alrighty. What are you up to now, Bell's Hells? Um, we gotta go find that key. Yeah, we gotta go. go we to gotta do this shit. Good morning. Oh, oh hi, hey. Fern. How did everybody sleep? Naked. Surprisingly good. Oh, well, okay. not now. Put some clothes on, Chet. <laughs> this is the Fey Realm, though. There are no rules here. I don't want to offend the tree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. With your wood. <laughs> Well, one's bigger than the other. <laughs> well, morning wood. <laughs> uh, I can't really see anything right. through the shock of white hair. Yeah. It's right. Yeah. 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 It's kind of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Had a lot of jobs in my time. Just a shock of white hair and then a couple really low hanging balls. Like a, like a little <laughs> storm cloud. Yeah. Just a little mushroom forest. Speaking of biscuits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you can always hear me running. Um, uh. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Listen, I wanted to ask. I wanted to ask Maury if there were like any natural, you know, enemies or things that we should look out for since since you've been gone. Since you've been gone. It, just in case there was anything that might try and you know attack us on the way over to the key. She could probably find a, a path for us that might be a little faster than that. Uh, I seem to recall uh, Nana having uh, was going to go do some research and stuff Ooh. for us last night. If I. That's right, and That's she might have some stuff that could help us. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. We Maybe some drink her. in the road. <laughs> Let's Come do on. it. Some dark prison from the road. You get three temporary hit points. Oh. After you eat them. Did Just, it, and how long does that last? I don't know. I don't know how temporary. Temporary hit points last until your next long rest, okay. essentially. Okay. Whoa. And they don't stack. They do not stack. Yeah, no. so if you get other temporary hit points, they replace the ones you currently have. You Got it. You can't add them. Orm has been doing a plank one inch off the floor for the last two minutes. Says, Imogen, did it work? Did you three sync up? We did. Uh, we did. And I went and saw my mother working on the key. And she saw me and she bamfed me back to my body. Uh, and Laudna got stuck for a second. Good dream. Whoa. All in the same dream? One of the yeah. keys? The one here? Oh, I think it was the one in the desert. Yeah. But we the one know what they look like and maybe how to mess them up, sabotage them. Yeah. It also seemed like your mom was like, had some like boss energy. Like she was walking around being like, mm, mm. Yeah, she, she knows what she's doing. Yes. She looked brighter than everyone else. But that might have just been because that's what I was aiming for. You dreamed your way back to Marquette? Yeah. That's pretty far. That's well, awesome. So you know, like, 
If we, if we see the area in a clearing, you'll be able to pick it out, right? Yeah, we'll look for a big pit. <laughs> a what? Big giant pit. Pit. A pit? Like it's in the ground? Yeah. yeah. So the telescope that's a key to the moon in the sky is at the bottom of a pit? Mm hmm. In some ruins. That you saw in a dream where you your consciousness went to another dimension. That. Yeah, okay, I'm in, I'm on. That makes sense. We've also seen it, and we have a good description of it, so maybe like Plane Rider Rin could, could like just get us right there. Yeah. Anyway, did you, did Maury find out anything mm. for us? Do we know a location? I'll ask her, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, you gather your things and head out of the Vordo into a uh, uh, pretty much pitch similar day here in the Ooh. garden at the top of the forest. Um, being unfamiliar with the landscape, there isn't much of a day-night cycle here, just a transition and shifting of colors across the, the sky and atmosphere above. You trek down the tree, passing the uh, delightful sun bear sweet pea kind of waves as you all head downstairs. Hi, you leaving already? Yes. Well, you're gonna come back, right? Of course, <laughs> always. Okay. All right. Coming. Okay. He's a big hug. He's a big, big, big hug. I love the bear game. Okay. Travel safe. Okay. Yeah. How did a bear get here, and how can he talk? I don't know. Do you think he used to be a person too, just like the the plants? I think he's still a person. I think that's a little rude. I mean, I, that is a good point. I'm just, I'm just fucking with you. No, no that is weird. Head. No, I'm, I'm huh? really just fucking with you. <laughs> what? If only we could hear what was going on inside his head. If we had some way of peering into the unknown. Yeah. Sure. Mm. Who knows? Yeah. Give him another hug, Fern. Okay. He's like, okay. I'll okay. take another. Okay. Maybe they can now, now, just... now. <laughs> From the face. Oh, I don't need to read his mind to what? To know he's thinking he'll kill us all if we hurt her. Travel safe. Okay. Bye, sweet pea. She's like, Fern made me like this. Free me. <laughs> That's how I say. Oh, you want that? Uh. Or as the kids say, that. <laughs> <laughs> well, Travis, the last couple of days. Why do you keep has been trying right? you to right? like know? Yeah, you have right. been you have been just spouting right. some awesome, some slang, some hip some slang. Hip, oh, God. Some hip God. slang. Yeah, you, are on. <laughs> you are on fleek, no cap. Oh, whoa. whoa, that don't feel good. I don't even know what no cap means. We've been on the air for too long. <laughs> <laughs> Put the bomb bunker going back to my yeah. Is the sun still there? <laughs> my space and my girl, that's where you'll find my, myself. Maury? As you descend yeah, the tree you. to prepare yourselves for the next leg of your journey, you know, it's still, it's it was a unique experience coming up the tree and eventually flowering out into the garden amongst the flowers, now traveling back into it, into the subterranean darkness of this kind of or feel the sense of subterranean darkness within the canopies of this cloak of vines and branches around it. It almost feels like you're walking down this welcoming, warm, natural basement expanse. It doesn't feel like a tree. It feels like you're going deeper into the ground, if not for the large trunk that swirled as you continued to climb further and further. Um, passing the various branches, passing the collection, passing your tree, you eventually come back to the uh, main entryway where the tiki bar and the art decor and a number of kind of sitting spaces sits here before the rest of the branch tangles upward. And here you see Maury is having her morning cocktail and is currently wrapping a few things up with like rope and twine and looks up to the rest of you as you approach down the the, the smaller top head, I should say, kind of curling outward and arching to all of you. And, oh, good morning, everyone. I hope you slept well. Mm. Like a baby. So good. Pretty good. Yeah. Such a charming home. Mm, I try. 
play the garden. Mm. Makes me yeah. nice. I have some gifts for you and oh. your coming journeys. Found a few tidbits in my collection. Mm. And she reaches down and grabs these bundles. There's three of them kind of wrapped in a nondescript kind of peach ruddy leather. Um, wrapped in ribbons and kind of hands them over to you, Fern. Oh, you're like, thank you. heavy. These are Harrow Call Veils. These were made long ago for a particular friend, for a particular job. They ended up not needing them as they were a fool and got themselves killed, but they'll be useful for you. They'll help you be unseen in certain oh. shaded spaces of the Faerun. When not moving, you place them over yourself and hold very still. It's likely you won't be seen. It's wonderful. Cool. But should they shift, its magic begins to stretch. So, just be mindful. Oh, oh and for you, Fern. I think you're quite old enough. And she turns around oh. and pulls up this in. <laughs> yeah. Fine. God damn it. <laughs> this in incredibly well made breastplate that looks almost like a like a bodice with with like dark carvings in it, and these like leather pauldrons of like these like little leather frills that kind of lap over each other on the shoulders. Um, yes, God, God. It, it looks very functional, but also very, very pretty. This is a gloom scale breastplate oh. that I've just had in my collection from a long time ago. It belonged to a princess once. She fell in battle and, well, she wasn't going to be using it anymore. <laughs> For sure, no, you can't just leave it there. No. So I figure it'll, it'll do you quite the goodness. And she hands it over to you. Oh, it's Whoa. just beautiful. I'll do some spins. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else care for a goodbye cocktail? Yes, yes, please. I will definitely yes, have a cocktail. Yes, that was amazing. Sure. I will have another. For sure. <laughs> she completes another round for everybody. Um, you gather your things and she begins to turn to you, Fern. So I and take it to your off again, then? I think so. Very well. But we'll definitely come see you again, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. We'll come we'll come back. And is is there anything we should know about where we're going? Well, you should, you should know that uh, past the Sable Cast grounds, likely, if we're oriented towards the red moon in the sky that you chase, left of your destination, there should be a gateway where the brambles are thickest like a, an egg that grows around, or a scar tissue that covers a wound. So follow where the brambles not. And there should be a gate to your world there. That's the closest way home. Also, beware the festive tree blights. They have a rusted sense of humor. If the ground grows wanting, be sure to pay it the iron tithe. And follow the moon you seek. The machine, the grounds that keep it, likely reside under its unnatural visage. The iron tithe, do you mean blood, blood. or coin? Or weapons. These iron tithe. Or me. 
rusty sense of humor? Is that what you said? And there was a reason we kept you around. Rusty? It's even lighter than iron. Rust. A rusty sense of humor? <clears throat> you wear the what trees? The tree oh, lights. You'll figure it out. You wear the tree lights, have a rusty sense of humor, and pay the iron tithes. <laughs> if the ground <laughs> grows wanting, if the ground pay the like iron tithes. For a tree boy. Yes. Aren't you going to ask about your parents? Oh. Oh, I forgot. I forgot to wait to. I feel like there's so much I forgot to tell you. Oh, um, what did you not tell me, dear? Well, I saw. I saw my parents. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Which is weird because I don't feel like I know them at all. Are they my parents? <laughs> they are your parents, dear. Okay. It is just. They've been busy for a very long time for us. Yeah. Am I forgetting something? What? What? Rosa oh, yeah. Fever is yes, what yes, it sounded yes. like. Yes. Is what they said. yes. Rosa um, Fever? Who's that? I, I don't understand what favor I was or what gift. Mom told told you to watch me or why? The unsealy are cruel, unrelenting, and have memories as long as time. They knew that they would go after the one the thing they prized most. So they left it in my safekeeping. They know better than to come to my manor. And a few have tried. And now they adorn my garden. I feel confused a little bit. What, why, why did I have to be hidden? When they took the crown, they knew they would be chased wherever they walked. And for a time they stayed here with you as well. But they had answers they sought out elsewhere. They sought out Ira eventually. And so they left you in my safekeeping, knowing that if, at the very least, they failed or were found, you'd be safe here. So I kept you. I can still keep you if you'd like. I do like it here. You don't have to go. I don't. No. Your friends are extremely capable. But it's kind of fun. I feel like there's so much to explore. I've only been under this dome. I've gotten into some shit. find your way back to me. You know you're always welcome. Whenever you're ready, your room will always be here. I just love you a lot. Thank you for protecting me and taking care of me all those hundreds of years, however much it was. <laughs> she like yeah, pulls you me. in. <laughs> I give both faces a kiss. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, make 
sure. Hopefully you're still feeding bumpers. And tell Dr. Nesbitt hello. And give Kathy a big hug for me, okay? I shall. Okay. I'll keep an eye from afar. And I can watch the threats. If you ever need anything, you can talk to her. Right? Mm-hmm. Very well. If you see Ira again, tell him he's an ass. the rest of you. Is there anything else you need? No, no. I mean, I think we have a, enough skin and <laughs> we got plenty we of veils. We're, we're solid. Veils. We're solid. Very generous. If we do are able to find the, um, the gateway back, <clears throat> will your guidance be granted to us when we leave? Mm, right, right. Just one second. And she darts off across the room and begins digging through a cabinet, eventually pulling out this like dark glass jar. It looks like there's some some sort of a paste, like a like a dark green yellow paste. And she walks over. Before you pass through the gate, just smear a bit on your forehead and cheeks. Jizz? <laughs> cheeks. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. FCG. I'll hear what I want to hear. I think in addition to Where are your minds oh, tonight? Get you uh, Do not hit on my grandmother. Whispering. I can't hear shit. <laughs> I'm just talking a full voice. <laughs> 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 Start caressing FCG's body since he's so horny. <laughs> Madam Mori, we haven't really had the best experience with the Unseelie. What little we've had, do you have any advice as we run off to. It depends on what you run into. There are wild nomads within the perimeters of the court that just. Hunt and tangle and deal. There are the soldiers of the court, regimented, cruel, dangerous. There are the politicians and generals of the court. They are ominous. They are continuous. They are eternal. So, just be mindful. If they seem like they might be worth addressing, then address them with respect. If they seem like they could use a gentle word, Lift them a moment. Just like many other fae, they are driven by whim, though the darker wiles of the heart. Sometimes it's safer to dance than it is to fight. Sometimes it's easier to talk and flee than it is to bite and chew. I hope that clears it up. <laughs> sounds, no way like we should, like sounds like we should expect the unexpected. Go with the flow. <clears throat> when in. We should get moving. Own. To the moon! Ah! Uh. <laughs> 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 All right. Yep. All Thank right. you, Nana. Thank you. Yeah. 
will be watching. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Right. And if anything goes wrong and you have nowhere to go, you can always come back. You'll be safe here. All of you. <sighs> you could stay with Fern as long as you like. But not in the garden. <clears throat> you can stay in the garden if you like. Well, I, I, I never was. That was rhetorical, thank you. Yep. Your <laughs> hospitality is legendary, as yeah. is. That ass. Um, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we go. We go. We go. All right. Yeah. You exit back out the front of the tree where you had arrived. The vines pull back. You step out once more into the fens, knowing the direction that you saw from the garden of where the glowing orb of Ruidus seemed to have apparated. You choose a direction and continue to push that way, now deep into the swamps of the fens once more. Who's leading this charge? Um, You're I will be. Yeah, the yeah. yeah. definitely I know where to go. Mm -hmm. I, I'm gonna stand, go with her, and try to sense where the, the moon is, since I'm assuming we can't see it from under the canopy, right? It's going to be hard to try to. It's too thick from here. Yeah. Can I sense the moon? Can I feel the pool? I'll say you could, you can make either a survival check to, uh, with advantage, to lead this through, and then uh, you could make a singular Roll and then add your charisma modifier. Okay. Connect. Twenty-seven. Ooh. Cocked this. Sorry, it's this dice. Yes. Okay. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Twenty-seven. Those are both incredible rolls. Okay. Growing up in this space, you know this central region, especially around the manor itself, quite well. Um, and you know some of the dangers and interesting challenges that can be existing out there beyond just the twisting swamp itself. Um, you, very much kind of after the dream that you had and kind of traversing through this odd Ruidian gateway in this liminal space, uh, you feel very faintly within you that, that little nugget of a pull, that, that same tug, and you just let that guide you, like, 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 a, like a chain on your sternum, just gently pulling you ever so carefully. To the two of you, begin to guide the group through the dangers of the Fen. I uh, catch up behind the witches, just stick close, and eat my boon biscuit. <laughs> what was it three? Yeah, that's true. Three point, how is? How do they taste? I am going to eat a boon biscuit as well. I, how do they taste? I haven't, you know, I can't taste them. So, I did a, any suggestions for next time? No. For a first batch, it's not bad. Yeah, notable. More sugar. More um, maple syrup. <laughs> mm-hmm. More. Maybe a little more cinnamon and a little less ginger. Okay. Oh. There I was no ginger in it. So that's an interesting, mm. yeah. I, oh, maybe it's the maybe that's why turmeric. Maybe that's maybe the I should have used ginger instead. Ginger mm. is that's he wrote it in the recipe. I know. Ginger. I don't know what ginger is though, so I was just kind of grasping at stuff. But I'll try again. I wonder what it is. You what did you put in it instead of? It had it was like little beads or seeds. Oh, oh is that whatever those little beads or seeds was. Maybe don't put those okay. in. Okay. All right. Yeah. Her yeah. talking but I mean, it's, it's is really looking, listening, so that none of the garlic? sights or sounds of the face oh. yeah. can get the jump on them. <laughs> yeah, that, mm. check, please. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. A natural twenty Ooh. plus uh, I don't know what nine, so twenty-nine, so 29 to match okay. my passive perception. Tree. So, oh, you're as you yeah. follow Great. behind these two that are leading the joint hike through this landscape. Uh, you hear I don't hear. You know. I'm fine. And this tiny little voice goes. 
fun. Fun. <laughs> is it coming from the direction of where we came? It is. And you hear this, all of you begin to hear the sound of wings flapping before <laughs> landing on a nearby branch. Okay, no, no, guy, no. Dr. Nesbitt. Oh, Fern, it's been so long. It's been so long. It's so wonderful to see you, my goodness, look at you all so grown. The rest of you see uh, a weirdly proportioned owl-like bird about that big, um, with gray dappled white feathers, two small jet black beady eyes, and a thin, wide beak that stretches from end to end of their face, uh, like a like a potu bird-like creature mm. that is just kind of on the edge of the branch, looking at her and like putting its wing out and holding onto her cheeks. Oh, it's so wondrous. I heard you were passing by, and I missed the opportunity to speak with you, and I'm so sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much for just coming to say hello. We are going to. We're on a very important mission. Where are you going? We are going to the Unsailing <laughs> Court. Why? Cause we're gonna, we're gonna take something apart. Ooh, that sounds dangerous. It is mm. very, very. You're dangerous. probably going to die. And that we might. <laughs> <laughs> it's exciting. It's so exciting, and then see what comes next. <laughs> right? Ooh. Yeah. Can I help? Oh, well, absolutely, you can help. How? Do you know the way to the Unsealy Court? Do you no. know where the. No, all right. Oh, okay. okay. Um. Well. Um. You can, um. You can. We could use your eyes, maybe, if you flew over to find things? Sure. I can try it. <laughs> okay. Is there, is there something that you have, uh, like, a strong skill set? That you can offer, but uh, we're, we're instead of us guessing. No, companionship conversation. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I can uh, I can tear apart a mean taffy mouse. Hmm? Mm. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sure. Maybe sure. the unseely court is just a bunch of mice, in which case. Who are they? I don't know. Ooh, I've never seen them. <laughs> well. At this point, you. Mr. crawls across your shoulder and goes, It's all right. Mr. Nesbitt's like, What is this foul creature on your shoulder? This is my son. <laughs> what? Here we go again. It's okay. It's okay. No, 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 I'm I'm sorry, I didn't realize this was um the seat was already occupied. Oh mm. uh, it's there's two seats. So you come here, and I'll put Mr. here, and maybe you can help us. If not, fly home. <laughs> goes land on your shoulder, and Mr. goes <laughs> and like no! goes to no, deck no! this judgment. Relax, relax, relax. Takes off and lands back on the branch and goes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, guess we got off on the wrong foot. Okay, well, just fly behind us. I did not replace you, so don't even think about it. That's not what I heard. No, no, there's room for many to love. I can love a lot. All right. I'll help you out. Okay. Because it's fun. <laughs> okay. All right. Does, does, does Mr. Nesbitt, Dr. Nesbitt, do they, they talk a lot? Yeah. So if we're trying to be sneaky, is Dr. Nesbitt are we trying to speak the sneaky? I wasn't aware that we were trying to be sneaky. When we, oh, get, when there. we get there. Oh, well, that's when fair. We get there. All right. I could probably tell him to be quiet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is your specialty, doctor? Yeah. <laughs> conversation. Companionship. Oh, doctor of yeah. conversation. Doctor of conversation. Yes, yes. Hmm. The best companion. Where do you get it? Where do you get Doctor. educated in such a yeah in such a Let's particular field? Let's keep moving field? as we talk. Yes, yeah, we are. <laughs> read a lot of books on it about sitting around with Nana. Ah, homeschooled. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, homeschooled. <laughs> Ooh, worm! Ha! <laughs> 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 That's my hair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> get off! Get off! 
<laughs> sure. It's a nice bird, I've seen. Dr. Nesbitt, do you know anything about undead giant bird? What kind of a creature is that thing? A bird. Have you ever heard of an undead bird that keeps coming back to life and has lived for a really long time? I have officially lost this conversation. Oh, that's right. You sure. right. Oh, you, oh, you were right. around. Yeah, you, were you missed out on shit. Right before. Where before what? Shit hit the head. What shit? What head? His head. When? Oh, that's when you took From off. the bird. What bird? Dr. Ann? No, I'm not certain. There are a number of uh, dead like birds in through history. Mm-hmm. You know, I've I'm read a lot of books in Nana's library about all sorts of strange things. Mm-hmm. Don't know if I've ever learned it there. I haven't. Read about this silly court? I'm sure I read about it, but it uh, wasn't very interesting of a read. I kind of forgot it. That's fair. So maybe he's controlled by something. Could be. Actually, and we're trying to avoid a little bit of, we're trying to make this uh, this walk as easy as, as possible. So if you actually, if you know anything we should be avoiding while we're going in this direction, I don't know how. I don't, I don't get this far. This is all new I for me, is it? You would say that. It's exciting. What's your favorite book you've ever read, Dr. Nesbitt? We're I tend to forget them by the way. Yes, yes, definitely, yes. yes. Please, just Please. walk. <laughs> <laughs> you just stopped here for three hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 50 feet from this ride. Continues to talk as you go on, like, I read a lot of books, I don't remember them. I tend to oh. put them back. It's more of a way to pass the time. Uh, I recall some things, I imagine. Maybe I don't, maybe I do. I don't know. Out of, out of curiosity, <laughs> if you just kept telling yourself that you do read all the time, you wouldn't actually have to do it, would you? That's true, but reading books makes you smarter, you see. Mm. You tell people how many books you've read, and it makes you a smart person. Do you remember how many books you've read? No, but I know it's many. <laughs> Well, I thought Got one, it. two, three. A three. <laughs> three. Comes back around. Uh. That's two. All right. Continue. How close are we? Yeah, I never stop listening for impending death. Um, I'm fascinated. The fens grow thicker and swampier this direction. What was just the spongy ground with elements of soft moisture becomes Difficult to trudge, muddy pits, mm-hmm. with elevated little islands of drier ground. The trees here do have beautiful variations of blue and purple and bright green and yellow leaves, kind of shimmering. You do see other plants that kind of give off pulsing glows. Every now and then you swear you see one of them kind of like <laughs> shift a few feet before stopping. And his bitch continues like whistling to himself like, Ew, what's this? It's, a, it's another tree. I haven't seen this tree before. This is a new tree. <laughs> that tree's new too. He's in trouble. I don't know. He's in danger. He's in danger. So many new things. Dr. Nesbitt. Yeah? Here's the deal. What is the deal? <laughs> I think I would like to keep you alive. So I think you should fly home. But what about adventure? Oh. Well, I feel like we're going into the danger zone. On the highway, you could say. Mm. Yeah. Right. Make a persuasion check. Okay. Persuasion check. Yeah. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Monster. <laughs> Oop! That's a valid point. I'll wait for you at home. <laughs> Good luck. Don't die. Bye, doctor. <laughs> Did he go in the right direction? Mostly. Okay. <laughs> we'll find its he way, was probably. Cute. Yeah, I'm sorry to meet him again for the first time. Once he comes oh. back. Uh, long time. I don't remember. He just showed up one day. Uh, he just showed up one day. Were you still little? Yeah. Hmm. Aw. Yeah. Yeah. They all showed up. Every once in a while, you know. Mm. So, like, Sweet Pea just showed up one day, or, mm-hmm. or did yeah. Nanamori make him? No, work? they all just showed up one day. <laughs> How's the ground looking? Does it look Swish. mad? Like it wants a <laughs> iron tie. A tie. <laughs> yes. Make a nature check. <laughs> <laughs> How's the ground looking? Should we fight it? All the time. Should we fight some I love? Stop Let's the go. Ground. Fight the ground. Okay, How's so. Uh, Go. My my skill checks are at disadvantage, right? I'm not rolling for real, just because. Correct. Uh, for first level of exhaustion, 
I think that's what it is. E. So. Yeah. I'll find this here. Uh, disadvantage on ability checks. Yes. Yep. So I'll straight roll. Natural 20. Woo! Wow. Oh. On a disadvantage? Well, because oh, yeah, he gave good. me advantage. Oh, I so see, I, I see. So I was thinking, well, yeah, you're right. The ground definitely seems soft and shifting. Like every now and then when you step across, and you had this when you were deeper in the fence, but every now and then you feel the ground kind of rise in some places and fall in others. And as you kind of stop and listen, you can hear this like. Every now and then you see some bubbles kind of out of one of the kind of wetter sections of the swamp. Seems normal. This is the indigestion grove. <laughs> yes, yes. Thank God I brought my sword of Pepto. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's the commercial. Okay. Not more. He said to pay attention and talk to the environment. Sorry, it looks pretty groundy yeah. at the moment. Yeah, yeah, Thanks for being so. Groundy for us. And letting us pass through. This is so nice. Yep. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Now that it's been the second day, can I try Hunter's Bane if it picks up larger specific signatures versus just like blanket bay? Yeah. Hunter's Bane generally just like get advantage on the invest on the perception checks to gather what's in the vicinity. Oh, uh, 19. 19. Um, in the immediate vicinity, no, but you do, we'll say that as like a going check of you, like kind of keeping nose out for anything specifically fey-oriented. Um, like larger signatures against the backdrop of just fey everywhere. Mm -hmm. As you continue for the next couple hours, the heavy canopy of the remainder of the fens begins to fall away. And then you do begin to see more of the sky peak, and you find yourself descending. This swamp is on a decline down into a valley. And from the crest to the decline, the water doesn't seem to be running either. It's kind of staying at the angle of, a, you know, not terribly steep, but a notably steep incline. Um, and right as you break past that canopy, you can begin to see that red orb. Closer? It, it's hard to say. This is your first time really seeing it in person, uh, other than the top of the tower. It feels like it's a little closer, and as you begin to move kind of side to side, you get the sense that it is smaller. It is lower on the horizon. It's sitting above at the far end of the valley. Yes. Yes. Um, you have a super high perception. You can see that throughout the forest that leads beyond this swamp, the thick, massive bramble twists that weave through and rise and fall, just this textured, dangerous landscape of darkened forest and taken wilds. You can see little dots of light through it. The sky itself here more clouded and shadowed, while the pinks and purples of the other sky kind of falls to almost like a continuous twilight here. Um, and there is that that red orb, like the, the, the faintest, the faintest little bit of like a, like a thread of light that drifts from beneath it. Ooh. It kind of acts as a compass point to the direction you are intentioned to travel. We gotta get there. Yeah. Let's move. Let's move. Are you all moving uh, slowly and stealthily, or are you moving with pace? Pace. 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 Well. Or careful. Until we find something. Until we something. need to. Yeah. Do we have any thing to make us more stealthy? I can do that. We have three we have of those veils. Those are for when we just hold still. Yeah. Yeah. I've got. A, I've got. I can run a one pass without a trace if we need to. So we can move faster, maybe, mm. while we're still being That's stealthy? only like 10 minutes, right? Uh, no, it's no. Like less an hour. Oh, okay. So if you want to move fast and stealthy, I can I can. Let's do it. make us super, yeah. super quiet. Uh, all right, I'm uh, 
doing Merge with Stone. I'm just giving everyone the, making the train a little more uh, agreeable to us. Making the train. <laughs> <laughs> so, just you aware, Pass of the Trace gives you benefits to stealth, but you still have to travel. Still have to travel slower. Ah, uh, so uh, never mind. No, I it's, yeah. I knew there's that. a ranger ability that does let you travel faster while still stealthing. Oh, well, that's well, fine. Well, then maybe hold on to it. Save it when we need it. That's yeah, exactly. Sucks your ass, we you move forward. Like I don't know if that's helpful. With pace. With pace. A okay. okay. pace. Yeah. Uh, so you keep up a fair pace, kind of trained on this light in the distance. The splashing and sloshing of your footfalls is far from quiet in this landscape. Um, you do come as the uh, the hill begins to rise down. <laughs> yep. Right. You do like come to the base of the. You arrive at. I know, he said, come on the base. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hard to, hard to do. Uh oh. This is what we, we deserve. Uh -oh. It. Oh, no. <laughs> you hear the clopping of hooves, numerous hooves splashing in the surrounding swampscape, getting louder and louder, like galloping horses. Can we put our veils on? Yes. There's only three, right? We have to like huddle up, I they guess. They cover three medium sized creatures each. Oh. 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 Danielle is dropping them. Sorry, 400 years old. You pick up some shit. Can All we right. put the Let's veils on? Let's huddle and veil. You can. Once activated, they only last a short time. You can only activate them once per day. I don't day. think that's correct. Oh, then you again. can only activate them once a day? Once Shots. a day? Oh, never mind. Shit. Never mind. I don't know. Once this a day? Seems like a good time to Probably the only one that paid attention to We're actually breaking into this place. But you have to hold still. So yeah. there's things run, riding on our position right now. Yes. All right. So it. it's a sensible no, time no. to use them. Someone's got to decide. I don't want to use them. We don't even know what the clip clop is. Yeah, it might be good for okay, people. Okay. We're talking about this. Is, I'm Liam. I want to get in a fight. Yeah. Bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. I, I could hit something. It'd be nice. And you see shapes kind of surrounding in the nearby tree line, running past. Indeed, they look like horses. Just charging. Two, hide. Three. Yeah, we'll like duck behind duck trees down. at least. Yeah. Make stealth checks. Oh, mm. Wait, mm. Mm. Oh, shit, I get a I, yeah, you do. Conceal myself. All right. Okay. Ashton. Thirteen. Thirteen. Fifteen. Fifteen. Eleven. Eleven. Nine. Nine. One. Oh, oh. God. Fifteen. Nine. Twenty-one. Good job, chat. Average. You all Very charge out and scatter to the sides best you can. Um, you got a one? Natural. Natural one. As you all kind of scatter out to find the best areas to hide in the space, you rush off and find this one like cluster of, of plant matter and brush, and you kind of hide up amongst it. I am grass. As these large bulbs kind of open, unseen oh, by no. you, and you get to release this kind of mist-like steam that begins to rain down from above onto you. Um, oh no. Make a constitution saving throw for oh me. No. Constitution saving throw! Robot stuff. Natural toy. Nice. <laughs> you take only four points of fire damage. Huh? This four points of fire damage. Oh, this extremely hot, scalding steam touches the surface of your metallic body and immediately like tsh, begins to burn into it. You yelp out and the uh. things, the galloping creatures sh, circle back. Uh -oh. Three of them begin to approach. And as they break out of the shadow of the nearby branches, you can see the horse creatures. They're just these massive stallion-like beings, but at the front you see the upper torso of a humanoid yeah! creature. Oh wow! Their their skin a pale gray coloration with looks like tattooed marks up along their body and their shoulders in unique swirls oh and designs. You see strips of hide armor on their bodies, and their hair is just this wild mass of tangled kind of uh, natural waves, uh, all shades of black and dark brown. Their eyes are pupilless, just these, Whoa. just just all black sclera eyes. Um, 
and they all have these long bows in hand, as well as other weapons attached around their waists, as they all kind of like ride out from different sides. Is he silly? And one of them kind of. Simador, Sita Bodacht. Oh, it's for Ishi. Shiman de Vendinst, Kurena Mui. Does anybody here right. speak Elven? Elven. I have tongues. We it's know. Just one long time, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> or tongues. But does anyone speak Elven? I don't know. No. Um, would I? Do would I be girl. able to? No I love it. It's great. Can I activate tongues on myself? If you'd like to cast a spell, I would like to. Does it have verbal and somatic components? Uh, it's verbal and M. What's that? Yeah, material. material. So you have to speak and cast the spell. And they're looking at you, by the way. Like you're the one who made the noise, and they're all looking at you with like their bows mm -hmm. kind of half cocked at the ready. Mm -hmm. And the one, the one that's kind of stepped forward is saying this towards you. Benat, Benat. I'll, I'll tongue myself. Okay, and you shout. You, sh you begin to like cast the spell. Yes. Speak the phrase immediately. Oh! Launches a shot with the longbow at you for that's going to be a fourteen to hit. Miss. Sinks into the ground to your right hand side. Locks the arrow. Benat. But you've just finished casting the spell. Uh huh. Oh. Hold up my hands. Benat slowly shifts into. Do not oh. move. I won't. I don't. I, I, mm -mm, I'm. I'm okay. Nope. Don't shoot. Are you speaking Elvin? I don't think I can talk back. Let's see here. I can understand any spoken language it hears. When I speak, any creature that knows any language can understand me too. Mm -hmm. I can talk back. Uh, yeah, I'm C3PO right now. <laughs> yeah, more, than more or less. <laughs> I'm over three uh, million. I'm sorry. I, we, we mean no, no harm. Uh, we. Oh, oops. how many is in your group? <laughs> Source the perimeter. Fucking. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I meant the royal we, the royal we. It's just me. I, I'm just. Uh... They found a few of the others. You guys, you guys did not roll good stealth no. checks. No. Um, and at this point, like they start like like the three of them all like big old long bows, arrows knocked in them. How many of you? Stand forward. Yeah, yeah no, I right. will, but with hands sure. up. The steam protrudes once more from the creature behind you and sets onto you, make another constitution oh. save. Oh my god. It's not oh a good day. Face. Nobody touched letters. 16. 16, only one point of fire damage okay. on you. Okay. Uh, can I, I know you don't want me to move, but can I move? This thing hurts. Tie it up. Oh. And one of the uh, others, well, as, as you're all kind of standing up, one of them kind of rides over, <laughs> reaches into a little pouch on its side and pulls out this piece of like this long gray cording, this very like tightly braided cord. Tie them all up. Wait, whoa, 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 <laughs> we can't talk to him. Uh, please don't do this. We, we mean you no harm. Are we on your 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 turf or something? Is is this? Uh, have we crossed into an area we we shouldn't be? Yes, you shouldn't be here at all. None of you should be. Why? Because this is the land where the sun does not fall. Okay. These are our lands, and you're ours now. Can can we? Can you? We're taking you. Oh. Well, can you just oh. let us go back home, or pass through, or go, go elsewhere? We that's, didn't know. That's not how it works here. Oh no. Okay, maybe maybe throw up man in, man, Morgan's name. Do you know Morrigan? What of Morrigan? She's our friend. <laughs> she is. All three of them. You all start hearing them laughing. And she'll be very upset if you catch us. <laughs> she doesn't like she she doesn't like folks messing with us. Tell him she's our she's nana. She's our nana. <laughs> Make an intimidation check. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Intimidation? Mm -hmm. 13. 13. All of them kind of look at each other. <laughs> All right, well, it's on. 
Are we fighting? Ah, there's anyway. too many of them for the three of us to carry. <sighs> Wake in the tree. And one of them kind of like We're rides waking over. Up a tree. Um, a tree. Pulls into a pouch and throws this like scattering of Can light dust. Can I use a chant to try to catch whatever they're scattering and stop it from reaching? Like as they throw it, I want to kind of catch it in midair. I will say roll a d20 and add your dexterity saving. This is going to be essentially your initiative versus theirs in a non initiative order to see if you can make the addition. 14. 14. Mage hand darts forward whew, right as they kind of like open the pouch. And you notice they're not throwing the pouch, they're just scattering it open. And the mage hand kind of reaches out into a cloud of dust that continues to fall along one of the large, pardon me, swamp trees as it kind of filters into it. The tree then <laughs> uproots itself. <laughs> yes, we, they don't like us. They're, this is not going to go well. We got to get out of here. Run! Oh God! <clears throat> All right. They're horses. They are horses. <laughs> 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 Wait, uh, you're a horse yeah. girl. <laughs> what am I gonna do? Ride, ride, ride bunny. Uh, is there a way you can oh, ask wait. them where we're yeah. going? Okay, they take I'm us? gonna say I'm gonna fucking cast. Uh, what can I guess? Uh, Orm's gonna, gonna step go. in front of Lada. I'm gonna cast. Right now. Mm. This is for three people. I'm gonna cast at third level command. Okay. Oh, we are on now. So you're casting at the three. For three foot people. range, you could just reach all three, with, especially with the one that stepped away. To the tree is still in the process of like pulling itself forth. As you do, you watch the wood split in places, in like six or seven places, the wood splits with little yellow eyes that kind of peer through. What do you command them? As I go ahead and make their what's their wealth? It's a wisdom save. Yes. Uh, yes. One word. That's an eight. That's a six. And a seven. Oh, wow, they rolled like shit. Great. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't. For Just one round. Don't. For one round, you want them to don't. <laughs> okay. Don't. Okay. They all, some of them arrows. Whatever they were going to do, they don't do it. For the next round, they won't do it. Really great. One was going to let us go. SCG, <laughs> 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 translate. And I'll hold out my hand and I'm going to cast Minor Illusion. And in my hand, you see a small little version of Morrigan's tree. It was really nice staying here. I'm sure her hospitality extends to this place. Just fucking say what I said. It was nice staying here. I hope her hospitality uh, pertains to this place, extends but, to this place. But when she comes looking for us, either of her heads, she's gonna really love having some new statues for her garden. Oh, that's good. The little one says that uh, she'll love adding statues to her creepy garden. Well, they're currently not. Oh yeah, they're not doing anything they're, right now. Yeah, as they all just kind of stare, blinking, processing why they're listening. Wait, they're just standing there. Let's get the fuck yeah, out of exactly. here. Why are we talking I, to them? Well, they this is six seconds. Let's Even go. if we run, you they're do get still horses. Through you translating an additional intimidation check, but it is a much higher DC based on the previous failure and the current circumstances that are not in your favor. Oh, but if somehow, I will, I will tell you, if you roll, if you roll a night, if you get above a 22. Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't translate well enough, I'm sorry. Run, run, run. Run? Run? I guess. If we I got don't six know. seconds. Towards our goal. Well, you got three seconds, because he was intimidating yeah. them through the process. So we gotta do something. What are you doing? I mean, I think we're standing here twisting in the wind while they attack us. I know. Us, I mean, what like, like, should so we attack them? Run! It's your call. Do you run? Sure, let's run so we don't attack the centaurs for another half round. Yeah. <laughs> They'll never catch us. Or then get. I mean, they're frozen, so you can attack them. Do something. Do we get around? Mm -hmm. on them? Uh, if 
Right? Go, guys. How many total? Hey, if if you wanted to attack them right now, you would have a round. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use seedling, right. and right. um, I'm going to grasping vine and, and try to yank a bow out of uh, the one that shot. Okay. At well, letters. let me. I guess I'll, I'll set out an arrangement yeah. to show you where it Ooh. is. Oh. oh, oh, is this? Are we getting a map? This map brought to you by WizKids Mini. The Box Mock in a Box set is available for pre-order. Find these and many more Critical Role miniatures at wizkids.io slash crminis. And your local game store. Usually he's back by now. Yeah. I, think, I read I think that really a mild fast. I'm out of bullshit coming together for this one. Is he building one on the fly? <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. This is Matt going, why the fuck are they fighting these centaurs? I know, I well, know. Well, we can't run, they're horses. Well, maybe we go to their home turf and we tell them maybe they don't like the Unseelie. Yeah, maybe Other. they'll help us. Oh. Yeah, no. Oh, wow. Why? Oh, great. Oh, oh, he just oh, put that together. Oh, wow, look at that plant. <laughs> what? With the, with the that's right. Oh, that's fiber got like optics. fiber optics, optics on it. Super, optics. super red. This wow. Is all, that's probably the ridiculous Whoa. steam plant. Are they Unseelie? We don't know. They might l l exist <clears throat> in the space in between, right? Yeah, Maybe I think you should ask them if they're on ceiling. Yeah. Yeah. No, not this tree. Did they said they were? Is now. Yeah, said but they were on ceiling. He said something Becoming more this tree. Yeah. Did he? Uh oh, yeah. no, we didn't. Uh, no, we didn't. Well, DM clarified. Did he say that we were in their lands that they mentioned the unseely? No, no, they just okay. said the, the okay. lands where the sun doesn't fall. Maybe they're but the lion that, guard. That's what it was. Wasn't that the name of the unseely area? So probably not. No, it was no, 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 no. They yes, sun the sun shadow. The sun shadow, the sun, the sun shadow realm where the unseely rule is all we heard. Oh, they didn't say where the sun, Educated but we can. Yes, yes, exactly. Oh, then they could be bringing us straight to the yeah. where we want to go. And uh, Mori, like described, I can't remember all of them. Politicians, knights, I think. What were the? I'm assuming, yeah. Oh boy. Can you ask right. them if they're unseely? Sure. But they're right now. They're donting. Yeah. So there, you have one round <laughs> while they are donting. <laughs> I, uh, we gotta. Uh, well, Orm's in front so. of Law next. I said he was, um, and then mm -hmm. who who fired the arrow at Letters? The closest one. Uh, this one here. Yeah. Okay, so the last thing I said was I was trying to use Seedling to grasp, grab uh, at Indeed. his bow and yank it out of his hand. Uh, so Dex. Okay. There more than three. That would be. No, just three. That we can see. Dex. That's why they woke up a tree, because there's only three of them. Oh, that yeah. beats it. Okay. Oh, and that giant right. tree. Uh -huh. right? Yeah. The natural 60 on that one. Uh, yeah, that beats it. Okay. And what is that big thing back there? This is the the plant that had been poofing out onto oh, the poof plant. Yeah. The steam that created in a radius around it. Okay. All right. All right. Staying put? Yeah, uh, yes. I'm Staying in front of the exhausted dead lady. Okay, that finishes your go. Yep. Uh, since this, before you're actually rolling formal initiative here, you guys are just getting around in whatever order you want to because you guys are figuring out what else you want to do. So, are we doing who's this? doing this? I know, I think we're just Talk so confused. Yeah, what's the like? Yeah. Like, yeah. Or if but they can help us. All right. I don't know. I like just ask them if they're in Seely. All right. Are you on Seely? They can't talk back, they're donting. They can still. Uh, do we can even let them capture us and walk for a little bit and yeah, talk, talk to them, and talk then we and kill talk. them. Are you on Sealy? If so, name what? twice. <laughs> <laughs> they they kind of stand there for a second. They're the one that kind of like dodged out of the way from you is looking a bit confused and looks back at you. You'll fetch them a pretty coin. You'll fetch them a pretty coin. A pretty, fetch a pretty coin for them. That's what you gather is probably what they meant. Got it. I explain. I think I think they're they're at least working with the unsealing. Yeah. What Bounty. Some, okay. What does surrendering go with? No, I don't know. We're surrendering. Wonderful. Okay. Heading straight into the unsealing court. Well, we don't we'll know exactly which way we're going. We don't, but they, we don't. We don't know that the unsealing court is located where we're going. So, nope. This is so dumb. Let's just kill them. Well, no, we do know that the Seely Court is located where we're going. Yeah, this is, we are heading towards the Seely Court. Yes. At least their domain. Their domain. Their domain. It could be a, the state of Delaware. Yeah. That is true. Maybe these guys are nice. 
they don't seem nice. I don't want to fight them, but... Because they're horses? Is that why? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Analysis paralysis. Somebody do something. Ah. I'm a born killing machine. I mean, at this point, throw initiative on us and let us figure I'm gonna, it out. I'm no, just going to attack around, the one that shot at me. Do it. Go for it. Yeah. Gonna, what are you attacking them with? I, I'm a uh, spirit, spiritual weapon. Alrighty. Okay, 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 okay. Fuck it, here we go. Um, this is happening. I'm gonna bane them. If we still have that one round. That Everybody round. does. Yep. Yeah. I'm giving everyone that one round. I don't believe this is happening. Can I do something else, or I used my one round to do the command, and so I'm out on this. They all get wisdom saving throws for bane? Charisma. Charisma. Oh. That's a failure. <laughs> Lower. And uh, that was going to be a 16. Just makes it. Okay, so this one does not get made back right there. But it does fall over, apparently. Okay. Uh, I'm going to. Um, no, you do. The command is for the next turn. So you, we'll say you go at the very end of this. Okay. Um, all right. I'm going to cast Entangle around their feet. Entangle around their feet? The, yeah. 20 foot radius? Still using that? It. Is ninety feet. Natural one and a ten. So only the one in the front succeeds. Okay. The other two are currently uh, restrained or grappled. What, uh, was it? A, was it a save against that? Correct. There would have been a D four against it if he was bang. Uh Correct. But it was a natural twenty. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah. Yeah. I'm spiritual weaponing him. Correct. So go ahead and roll for damage or to hit on him. Uh, Eighteen to hit. 18 definitely hits. Restrained. Restrained, you got it. Nice. Nice. Both of them in the middle of the swamp, a bunch of, like a, a burst of intense vines and roots just <laughs> come out of the ground in that vicinity and start <laughs> wrapping up around them. One of them kind of pulls away while two of them are now <laughs> pulled into it and are being held in place and they're restrained. Um, that one is still free. Work. Would you roll, yeah, what would you roll for damage? Uh, damage, oh, terrible. Are they, they're Four all points of damage. Yeah. Four points of damage. No, two, two of them are restrained. restrained. Well, we could run. Yeah. <laughs> Is the one who's, which one's not restrained? The one closest the one to us. And he is baned. And right? He's baned and he just got hit with four huge points of damage. Okay. My spiritual weapon, by the way, <laughs> appears like a giant stirrup. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Yeah. Not a spur, a Just stirrup. stirrup? Yeah. Oh, I meant to spur, but let's go with stirrup. Let's go with stirrup. <laughs> <laughs> Whack! <laughs> Put your feet in this! <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> All right. <laughs> then it changes to oh, a saddlebag, and then <laughs> rains. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Just random horse tackle. <laughs> He's hitting me with a feed bag. Square. Right? Oh, right. Uh, yes. There you go. Let me double yeah. check. Blinders. Yes, twenty foot square. Okay. Twenty foot. Twenty foot. I would have, wouldn't have been able to reach all three of them then. Um, ninety feet, twenty foot square. Ninety foot range. Ninety foot range. Yeah, twenty foot Correct. square. Correct. On the square there. Five, 10, 15, 20. So these two you could have gotten. So this one was, was not restrained at the moment. Okay. So only one of them is restrained. Okay. But this area here remains. Oh, I, so that's so don't that's, run in there. That's bad for us too. True. Cool. You guys are traveling this direction. Oops. So oh, okay. going that way. You right. Great. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, okay. so this direction on the map, uh, 30 20, feet. 30, 35 feet. Okay. Yeah, keep coming. The swamp through. is difficult terrain. Mm -hmm. uh, so we can get them right 20, up to. 30 gets you about there against cool. Centaurs. And uh, speaking of right up against and I'm gonna take out, not in. Uh, I'm going to take out my scythe. I'm going to take out Turmoil and utter the word done. Ooh. And it <laughs> unleashes. You got it. And I'm going to swing it in the air and cast Shatter uh, right in between uh, the Centaur and the Walking Tree Fuck. You got it. What's the radius in that one? Uh, 60 feet, 10 foot sphere. Ten foot sphere, you got it. So was that, was that first one just like five feet out of the radius? He's not quite, not quite. So the right there. Mm -hmm. the and one anyone in that sphere, I'm hoping to get all three of those. That would be lovely. Yeah, that would be great. 
but if he and got pushed, uh, I don't think they met. Oh, a Constitution the saving angle. throw. All right, the tree. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's what I got. Idea. Uh, fails with a. <laughs> that's a twelve, right? I guess you. Uh, it's a fourteen. Save. Yeah. So tree fails. Uh, Eleven fails. All three fail. Eleven. Oh, Amazing. Wow. Uh, Sixteen. Uh, 21 points of thunder damage to Ooh, all three oh, of them. Oh, Kicked it off. Ooh. So as he pulls out the blade, you sweep into the air, and in the middle of that space, this like weird swirl of electrical and storm energy just detonates outward like a localized explosion. All three of those, the, the tree and those two centaurs, they are all get rained upon by a bunch of just Impacting shards of force in the vicinity, and they all kind of hold their ears in the process. See those that have ears. All right, cool. uh, they all look. already look pretty hurt. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, all right, that's my turn. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna fire up a rage and see what happens. Alrighty. Oh yeah, I am. Uh, I am a big rainbow of probability. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> it's going off like Fourth of July in there. Okay. Uh, fun. Uh, amazing. I'm gonna walk up. I assume I can get right up to that to that guy in the front without that. Uh, he he's still five feet outside of the spell. 15, 20, 25, 30, 30 I also can. 40 can I have advantage. I have earthwalk, so technically I might be able to. If this oh, is earthwalk, earth, means you ignore difficult terrain. Uh, it, 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 I'll say exactly what it, it's a little weird. Hold on. It's it bit says um, earth, earth or stone. It, I don't know if this would count as no, earth or this stone. No, this is swamp. So oh, okay, but you can still get to the guy up front. Yeah, um, he's like five feet out from the from the. Is like right outside the the entangle spell. Correct. The entangle spell is right on that guy. Okay. So okay. Let's see what happens. I'm going to take just outside of the writhing vines. You're like shit. All right. I'm going to just walk up, just take one nice swing. Go for it. And see what happens. Uh, that's, uh, really that, that natural command. twenty. This is going to go really poorly. Ooh. That command will open you up for a round. Let's do it. <laughs> Uh, this a non surprise is be surprise round. This is <laughs> real bad. Oh boy, what am I going to do here? Ah, oh, this poor guy's not going to do okay. Um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to pump some terrible stuff into this. So I'm going to uh, put a chaos a burst in here as well, since sure. we're going this way. It's going to hurt so bad. So this is also going to have psychic damage. Great. Um, yeah, that's a. Uh, uh, sorry, that got in the way. Um, Currently, two uh, D four. So pull that aside. Lots of numbers. Yeah, I'm doing a lot. Uh, so this is two D six plus two D four. Okay. That's. Uh, it's been a while. That's uh, eight points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, doubled to sixteen. Plus eight for the base, so it's, uh, it's twenty-four. Mm-hmm. Plus, oh, this is so mean. Oh, um, twelve points of psychic damage. <laughs> and just to make the point, uh, I also, as I'm taking the hammer, I'm gonna hit it right in the torso, and I'm gonna throw this motherfucker five feet back into the bramble. You actually throw them about fifteen feet as you. Wham! And hit them, and they are lights out. Oh! Oh! Arcing in the air as their their heavy half horse form oh, immediately wow. just takes the, the brunt of it. Just going for a knockout, by the way. So yeah. I figured. Yeah. yeah. Like unless you're using lethal weapons and saying otherwise, no. you know. I mean, hammer could be lethal, but you're saying knocking back. So. Mm -hmm. Oh. oh. <laughs> I didn't even use my crazy shit. <laughs> Correct. The vines then wrap around the unconscious centaur on the ground. The other two are like, <sighs> and now that they're getting their bows at the ready, now that the spell's starting to wear off. Um, you still have another attack? Uh, there's nowhere I can get anyway. Yeah. Uh, anybody who has gone. We can chill this. You did the vine. Uh, there's no chill. Did your spell. Yeah. We'll chill their dead body. They can run away. In, I baned them. You baned them. Uh, Entangle. I'm Entangled and I will. Also a monster tree. If I go at the end, mm. I'm gonna twin spell the two centaurs that are still standing. Yeah. And uh, they're gonna hear just I saw a sword in their heads and just I'm gonna cast dissonant whispers. Got it. What's the save on that? Mm. Uh, that is a 17 wisdom. Wisdom. 
That is a natural one. And two natural ones in a row. Oh, shit. Like Gilmore dice. <laughs> He's looking out for you. Oh yeah, thanks, Gilmore. Thanks, Gilmore. Mm -hmm. so that that is 10 points of psychic damage to each of them, and they have to use their full speed to run away from me. Okay. That's cool. But they're restrained. Uh, one of them is not. Correct. Great. Must immediately use its reaction if available to move as far as its speed allows away from you. Okay. Alrighty. So, uh, finishing that, now we come to the top of the round. Um, now everybody rolling it. No! <laughs> hey! Oh, there we go. See, now they're finally rolling decent. Not so much. Okay, so 25 to 20. Uh, 22. Shit. Uh, 20 to 15. 19. 19. Mm. Nice. Uh, 17. Yeah. Who got 19? Uh, Me and Orum. Orum Orum's Orum. 15 to 10. 12. 12. 12. Do 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 uh, reach around my back and ah, and you see flames dance up the blade of the sh of the scythe. Hell yeah! And I whip it around and I'm gonna take my first strike against the legs of this thing with some fire, uh, crimson right. You got it. Uh, here we go. Oh, I should roll that d6. Two. Okay, I'll take that damage. Uh, it's uh, 16 plus eight to 24 to hit. 24 definitely hits. Okay, and the second one. Oh, it's only uh, 18 to hit. 18 also hits. 18 also hits. Great. Sweet. Okay, 2d6. Plus four. Uh, that's 10, 14, plus two is 16 points of damage, plus uh, it does, uh, I think, a 1d8 for thunder. Yeah, so 16 plus five is 21 points. Okay. Total and the second one is eight plus four, 12, 14, 14 and six, 20 points of damage. You got it. 41 points. God, that thing's carving awesome. through it with the scythe. Um, between the shatter spell and those two strikes, you can already see the tree as it's like preparing itself. It's about to slam its arms in the ground, and then one of its legs like splinters out. And what you imagine like a tree's knee would be is now kind of wrecked, and it's barely holding itself on the second leg. And he looks like some pretty healthy green wood, but like, is he on fire at all? No, the moisture here or something about this tree or the enchantment, the flames are not having the effect that you imagine and have seen other trees have. Good for you, lad, good for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's my turn. All right, finishing his go, it's not the centaur's go. Um, one of them is restrained. Uh, they're, okay. They're both going to take two strikes with their longbow, uh, or this guy's actually going to charge attack. You. Um, does have it is difficult terrain through the mm -hmm. uh, the entangled area, but you just have to run away from Imogen. Oh right, no, you're totally right. Nice. So he just. I was just about to make him so sad, but that's nice. off the board this way. This guy's restrained and can't. <laughs> Um, but he will try and break free of it at the end of his turn. Oh, God. And uh, that's a. That's a 17. Does that beat your DC? 17? It does. Okay, so he is no longer restrained at the end of his turn. You like my cookies? Mm -hmm. uh, Shit. But they can still take actions, mm. they just have to move away from you. Yes, they just have to move away from me. Okay. They have to use their reaction to move away from me. Gotcha. Okay, cool. So, they uh, 
they still get they still get their attacks. They're both taking longbow shots. Uh, it's going to be two on you, Ashton. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's going to be a twelve to hit. Uh, no. Oh, it was almost a twenty, and an eight to hit. Oh, um, <laughs> the one that did. Uh, let's pick one. The one that's furthest away. Mm-hmm. I'm going to use my uh, reaction to uh, trigger dreadful misfortune. Okay. Well, so. Uh, um, you have to make the attack roll against their own AC. Oh, that's cool. That's cocked. <laughs> yep. Hey, <laughs> so nice. the that first shot fires and it misses you. The second shot they fire, you kind of focus and concentrate, <laughs> and as they go to release it, the nope. string snaps the wrong direction and the arrow sh- sticks into their hand and oh. like, ah, oh, fuck! So they, they have to take half their own damage. damage. Yeah, yeah, they take half, half damage. damage of their strike. Oh my god. Oh, that's, that's cool. cool. They take four points of piercing damage. No. Ah. <laughs> the other one is going to take two shots at you, because it's a longbow shot, and you're the one who ended up mm. uh, causing them to halt. The one to do that. Natural one, game. Jesus Christ. And natural 18, okay. So you do take one shot from the longbow for nine points of piercing damage. One arrow managed to strike you kind of in the hip area. Imogen, no! <laughs> Thanks for the biscuit! <laughs> and then now he breaks See, free the entangle, but that's the end of his turn. Um, and now that brings us to Orem and FCG. Okay, uh, if I can do it from where I'm standing, I'm going to use a bonus action. If I need to get closer, I will to uh, use Seedling to send uh, a, a second Grasping Vine up at the head of the tree and then <laughs> zip myself up onto the, the top of it. You got it. Uh, uh, that's a fail on his uh, dexterity save, so yeah, you can totally kay. do that. So I'll just stand on that little plateau and then I'm just going to start Here. slashing away. At the tree? At the tree, yeah. Go for uh, it. First one will be a goading attack. That is probably going to hit. Is That's the tree a gone yet? Twenty-three. No. The tree isn't gone yet. No. Okay. We're gonna get that thing on the ground before it even yeah. has time to think. So that's a twenty-three to hit. Mm-hmm. It's a goading nice. attack. It has to beat a wisdom save of a sixteen. <laughs> These guys are kind of. No, but it was like nineteen three. Three. Okay, so it's goaded. We are. What's going on? Uh, right in the so process that of is on wood. from seedling is three plus six is nine. And I'm just 10 for that hit, and I will uh, take a second attack. Uh, That is a 13. 13 uh, does not hit. Okay, I'll action surge. Next one is a 19 to hit. Okay, that is. Okay, that is one plus six is seven, and the last slash is a 19 again, and that is an eight of slashing damage. What was the first hit again? It was. Uh, the very first one? Yeah, the damage on it. I don't recall. Sorry, I'm, I'm yeah, uh, no worries. I could just roll it again. Sure, let's roll it again. Let's roll it again. That's so okay. it's uh, two plus six is eight, plus the the superiority die is nine. Oh, it was 10. It was 10, but was we can go with nine. That's I'll, fine. I'll take 10. Okay. Yeah. I just jogged my memory. Uh, get and, there it's, eventually. and it's disadvantaged against anybody but else me. in the area. Okay. Ten. FCG, you're up. Ash on deck. I'm up. <laughs> With like, my bye. bonus action, I'm gonna move my spiritual <laughs> weapon. Are we trying Let's to get this uh, this tree thing? Oh, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to this to the tree if it can make it over there, 20 feet. I can think. move 20 feet easily over to the tree. And Go it's gonna and just part. spur the shit out of its shin. <laughs> 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 Not so much yeah. enemy of trees. The spur. <laughs> you mean the. Uh, Stirrups. The stirrups? <laughs> gonna stir Whack. up the shin. <laughs> Go for it, roll, I mean, roll an attack that for it. That sounds like it fucking hurt. Yeah? It actually does. Maybe they're bedazzled. 24! 24 definitely hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Oh my god, he went over. Uh, nine points of yeah. damage. Yeah! Oof, nine that tree is looking nine. bludgeoned to fuck in just this round. And then I will <laughs> also shoot a sacred flame at it. A little, little thing will open up in my chest and spout a gout of flame at it. 16? Uh, that saves, so he gets half damage or no damage. No damage. It's all or nothing. So it does manage. Like it gets hit by the stirrup, and it's like <laughs> pulls its leg up right as the sacred flame like bursts beneath it ineffectually, and it steps back down. <laughs> but its knees are already so messed that it like <laughs> splinters and. <laughs> and I will roll forward up to where Ashton is, at least, maybe even further. If oh, I can. Unfortunately, you only get 15 okay, feet because great. of the difficult terrain. And I'm about to move anyway, so. 
All right. Uh, Finishing FCG go. Ashton, you're up. I'm gonna uh, run on over to the to the kids. I'm gonna take a nice swipe at whatever leg is holding up that tree. So right there. Okay. And just a nice running gallop, and I'm gonna do this. Uh, um, I'm gonna, uh, uh, as I know how things work, I'm going to uh, go reckless. So let's uh, go for a shot. I also get. Yeah, a, reckless. Yeah. Woo! Oh, and I also get a d4 on this. Woo! Right. Not that I'm ever gonna take a big swing. That's uh, twenty. One, two, three. Kids that's it. Hits. About your okay. Uh, uh, bloody hell, that hits. Uh, that's six, eight, uh, eight. 14 points uh, of damage right there. Okay. Ashton, how do you want to do this? Yeah! So as I'm as I'm running up to this tree, I just want to I'm bringing uh, bringing the hammer back, and I'm going to try and just get it and split the wood like a piece of timber all the way up the leg. The tree's leg splinters and shatters from the impact, and where the leg met the center of its trunk, the trunk splits, and the middle of it just kind of like divides halfway up before it tumbles. Make an acrobatics check for me if you don't mind. Yepers, natural twenty. Natural twenty as it falls back. Um, actually, actually, are you, how how close Land. to yeah? Onto the ground, spoof, under the spongy swamp top. <laughs> Sinking a foot into the ground. Yep. So. <laughs> um, I'm gonna I'm gonna tap you on the shoulder, point it then at the next guy, and I'm gonna take the rest of my run and see if I can get right up to that asshole. Let's do it. Okay. Twenty. What's a move we can do? Twenty-five, thirty. 30, yeah, you can yep. get up to that guy. Just hold, like, just Meet me there, check. and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna second strike. Second strike, I'm like literally just gonna bludgeon straight on into the into the head. Let's uh, I'm just gonna him. Um, uh, that's twenty to hit. That hits. Go to roll damage. Oh yeah, there we go. Uh, that's uh, seventeen points of damage, bludgeeting damage. Seventeen points of damage. Like a you hit it right in the face. <laughs> As you pull it back, its eyes are nearly crossed from the impact. Its nose kind of flattened and immediately bleeding as it falls unconscious onto the ground. <laughs> and I'm just going to turn and look at the next guy. That's my show. That's my that's my whole thing. That finishes the turn. All right, that brings us to Fern. All right. <laughs> Witches. <laughs> Witches. So um, two of them are unconscious in the ground, <coughs> beat to shit. Uh, the tree is on the ground, no longer moving, and there's the one guy who is running away. Oh, well. <laughs> do it. Let's just do it. No witnesses. <laughs> no witnesses, but they're so cool. Oh, God, just do it. I am going to hold. <laughs> Feigned mercy. We're gonna do like, we like horses. <laughs> they trying to fuck with us. Should we do they a tree? They got arms, they're should not horses. Should we do horses. a tree or should we do a tree? <laughs> have, they would probably be offended. He's I can split my. Once you have thumbs, blasts, it's fair game. I can, I can do switch one my, each. Split my scorching. You can be fucked. Once, 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 yeah, we want to do. Thumbs, <laughs> they're going to do a combo move. We want to do a combo move. Okay. Yeah. The three of us linked up back to back. You do have. Straight initiative, so there's nobody has to do anything in between. So right. whatever yes. the three of you want to do. Like, this one, yeah. this one, this one, this red shirt. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Scorching ray. Okay. Eldritch blast. Witch bolt. Okay, so the three of you <laughs> are full on like Ghostbusters crossing the yes. street. Yes. Here. yes. Okay. Are we wrong. splitting them? All three of us splitting them? Wait, is there an enemy splitting? splitting the There's only one this guy. This is going to be like the one of those, like, just no. the one guy left. Just the one guy left? Yeah. 60 feet away, yeah. and then right. just his head goes. Well, then I know. I guess we'll just combine. Oh. He's 60 feet the away. Then I, I'll have to use a sorcery point to double my distance to get him, but I'm fucking Scorching doing it. Do it. Worth okay. it. My Eldritch Blast is 240 feet. I burned two fucking chaos points for this fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Scorching is 120 feet. Yeah, so with with your with the sorcery point spent, the three of you uh, go ahead and everyone roll your attacks with advanced because you're doing this together. Ooh. Ooh. With advantage, Ooh. and I can do attack. Nice, nice. first one. No, no additional Stay. damage on this one, but you oh all have advantage God. on this because you're all focusing in on one. Twenty-six, um, 17. 17. 
Okay. So that's 25, and then a I got a natural 19 and a natural 18 okay. on this my two Eldritch Blasts. If any of them had missed, they would have all missed. Oh. But you all had advantage to hit, and so now they all hit. Oh, that's, uh, that's cool. And so now we can do additional damage on top of it. So, <gasps> go ahead. This would be such overkill. This is such so go overkill. ahead and roll damage. This poor man is done. When you're I done, don't want to get it. Okay. Someone decapitated a horse and cut off the feet of a man. <laughs> Eight. 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 Points for the first for the scorching ray. Okay, Eight. both of the other ones. Unless you're shooting but other I things. don't want to kill him. You don't have to. You can pull back if you want to. Yeah, pull back yeah. that electricity. <laughs> and <laughs> Eldritch, but are uh, the other ones dead? No, 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 no they're just unconscious. Advantage again? What? Wait, no, you're, what are you no, you're not just just rolling the hit damage. again or just damage? Well, because I have three scorching rays. Three scorching rays. She has rolled four. Oh, I see. But I can hold those. If you if you want to just not shoot them, you can. Up to you. Let's see what the damage would be. Yeah. Oh, that's really good. Okay. Um, <laughs> so that's twenty-seven to hit. Yeah. Lord. And that's another eight. So it's sixteen. Yeah. Third Shit, one? I have another one. <laughs> Keep running. <laughs> just. Okay. Don't miss. Okay. Um. Um. Don't miss. Twenty-one. Okay, 21 points of fire damage from Fern. No, 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 21 to hit. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, so, sorry, sorry, so sorry, sorry. So the 16 plus whatever you roll here. Jesus. Oh, wow, okay, 11. So you rolled an 11 on that one. Yeah. Five? So 16 plus uh, yeah. 27? Yeah, 26 oh. points of fire damage. Oh, boy. Wow. So, okay, so that's you. 20 points of Eldritch Blast damage. Okay, so 46 points of damage. Nine. <laughs> Why do I suck so bad? Nine. No, it was just, oh, because which bolt like hits over yeah, and over? Yeah. Okay. All right, so 55 points of damage plus an additional D12 if someone wants to roll that on top of the whole thing. Go, I'm in 10. Oh, is that a 10? That's okay. 10 additional. Points. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. How do you want to do this? <laughs> De describe the merging of these spells between the three of you and how it impacts your target. Each of you, one word at a time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, yes, improv game. <laughs> hey, bitches. Should we take this one out? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I keep I'm forgetting we're bad people. Wait, wait. Can each of us, as it like so blasts bad. from our hands, it like shoots out and like <laughs> and like intertwines. Yeah. So it like yes, yeah, so it braids. Yeah, yeah. so it braids. Oh, it's braiding. It's braiding. It's like braiding. Like a ponytail. Like oh. yeah, 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 yeah. oh. Yes. What if like your fire ones are like circling around yeah. Yeah. the lightning and the, the, one goes in, the in my yeah. Eldritch Blast yeah. is all necrotic, so I imagine it's like taking your fire and like making it black Ooh. and, yeah, and yeah, dark yeah. and purpley. Smoking terrible things. And my yes. purple lightning like yes. flaring at him. So you, know, you know the scene in uh, Pee Wee's Big Adventure when he rides a motorcycle? Yeah. 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 You see this guy just <laughs> 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 and just squibs <laughs> about really 100, 100 feet up that way. <laughs> There's just a detonation of three different forms of energy that just remove the top half of that, this centaur. That may have oh, been overkill. Oh, that that may have been a bit much, but let's go. Uh, let's run. Wait, yes, 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 real quick yes, 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 before yes, yes. we go anywhere. I've always wanted to see if centaurs have pockets. One second, and I'm going to run over and at least oh, the, like the guy, the like the one guy in the front. I'm going to really quickly try and loot. Yeah. Okay. Yep. They have you, pouches. They have a pouch? They do, they have. Marsupial pouches. They, they marsupial pouches. <laughs> Everything in the Fairy Realm has a marsupial <laughs> yeah. pouch, it's true. Um, they have a number Fern of. Fern has <laughs> several. Are we, how are we? Have, are we, are we clear? What, what, going do on have, what do they have, what do they have? He's telling you what you have. Oh yeah, I'm just yes, making sure we're not being followed. Jeez. <laughs> Check shit. This has been a scattered we day. We are yeah. chaos. Really scattered. This has been chaos. Um, they each have quivers yeah. with arrows in there for their longbows. Well, it's longbows. Right. Um, uh, roughly <laughs> anywhere between 25 to 20 arrows each. Uh -huh. Some have been spent. Uh -huh. um, they're also carrying snacks for the road, almost like snacks? a like, oh, like no, fungus and mushrooms. They're hunters. Um, yeah, no, like, like sugar nothing to like identify <laughs> where they come from or anything like that. Or no, no, you can make a. Uh, Really? Make an arcana check. Well, 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 sure. And sugar cubes. I'll, I'll do an arcana check. <laughs> hey Matt, when I did my um, my uh, Jesus Natural. Christ, oh. sorcery For point. 20. Yeah. Um, hmm. my shard went off. You sharded? 
That's you right. Didn't, you sharded. Oh, you used, used the shard for that? Okay, let's do it. What's that mean? That means it's uh, time for some chaos. 63. Wild magic? Okay. Wild magic. <gasps> okay, well, Yeehaw. for one thing, uh, you roll natural 24 total of? 21. 21 on the Arcana. Mm -hmm. um, best that you can tell with what base knowledge you're kind of just absorbing being in the presence of the Fey realm here, um, the look of their skin, the look of their, their equipment, they're definitely hunters of this uh, realm of the sun's shadow. Um, you get the sense they're probably loosely affiliated with the court, while not directly. They probably are kind of one of those outer nom nomadic uh, communities that off and on works for contracted work, um, or just gathers yes. and finds things that they can then make profit off of or trade with the Unsealy directly if it's useful to them. Like strangers from another realm that don't look like they're from here. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. As for your wild magic, is it 63? Why do you always roll in the 50s and 60s? It's crazy. She Good wants music. to. You all go, after you watch the guy explode, you go, yes, and you turn to Imogen, and you go, yeah, and just fog <laughs> out of your mouth and fills the space 20 feet around you. Whoa. Can she talk? Is can, it, does it keep doing this as I, as I open my mouth? Uh, it does, but it'll it's last for an hour, as long as you oh, concentrate oh, on it. Oh, do we, do we hey, fog? we can sneak around! We can sneak around. Sneak around. You literally create a fog cloud, <laughs> a spell centered on yourself, which means you can move with it. Yes! This is great! They can't wow. find us great fog cloud for an hour. Is she able to speak with face. as well, oh or is it God. just fog, that's all she got? Sneaky with face. No. Try and speak. Can you hear me? It's, oh, you can no. talk, but it's definitely a lot of fog billowing out of it. It just keeps billowing out, by the way. Well, it's a good thing I can communicate with my brain. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Like, if you if you close your mouth, one, the fog begins to dissipate, but also, like, oh, it's just, you, it's, it's uncontrollable. It just keeps awesome. coming out. Wow. It's got a hint of turmeric uh, to it as yeah, well. Yes. They ha if they have nothing I want, then I'm just going to go through and I'm just going to break all their arrows really quickly. So just in case they wake up, they're not a problem. Because we're seeing they were all knocked out. Yeah, the ones that are well, they're knocked out. Two of them are knocked out. Two One's gone. Knocked out. One, the one that ran was Part glue. Yeah. yeah. Mm. <laughs> so if they don't have any anything, like they, they can keep their snacks and okay. an arrow each. You got it. Done. <laughs> you break all but one arrow each, and then gather your wits about yourselves. And then quickly Fusion. follow your newly found blanket of <laughs> diffusion around you. This is obfuscation as you begin She's to continue them. to head now further out of the swamp. And now what you can see ahead, maybe about five or six hundred feet before you, where the true exterior of the Bramble Forest that connotates the beginning of this valley and the Sable Grounds unfolds ahead. And that's what in tonight's episode there. <laughs> We'll pick up upon we the. the oh, we did, we did, we made, we made it. it. I finally got to use that, that little uh, uh, probability shift. That was fun. You did. That was I've been cool. looking forward to that forever. That one's a fun one. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we'll pick up there next time as you guys are actually now entering the Sablecast grounds, which contains one of the keys. Oh shit. And whatever's around oh, it. Okay. We have no okay. idea how it's guarded or what to expect. Nope. Mm. Sorry for the chaos, man. Yeah. Don't be sorry. We're all a little loopy. We're a little loopy. Sit it's been down a long week. We're all while loopy. We sign off the show, okay. Ashley Johnson. Say again. Oh, We're Sit still down. broadcasting. Sorry. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> We're have a talk. There is, uh, there's some there's some big light. chaos okay. energy tonight. Are you gonna show that? Oh, we're gonna show it? it. Oh, we'll let her show it. Show, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. show and tell to end the night. Wait, actually, should we put it there? Wait, maybe my with... mom. My mom built this. Oh, can they? Yeah. As Fern's house. This was like the inspo for, for Nan, for Nana's. Oh, yeah. Isn't it so great? This. It's, it's so, so cute. Cute. It's a bird house. In you. I love it's it. It's so Covered great. In hands. It's I'll bring so it hands. beautiful. I'll bring it up. Creepy hands. A... Do yeah. a photo shoot with yeah. it. Yeah, we'll take a photo. Super Four sided dive. Super, super oh, yeah, cute. yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yeah, a good yeah, idea. Yeah. Put it on the I love yeah, that yeah, joke, yeah. Yeah. by the way. That makes me really happy. <laughs> Just saying. I, I almost need a print of that. That's, I'm, you can have that one. Thank you. That's it. all I want. Okay. Sign it. Well, well. With that wild ride uh, wild. <laughs> final bit there. We'll pick up there into this next Magic Chaos next episode. Thank you for joining us and dealing with our chaos for the evening. Um, <laughs> Have a wonderful night. Love you very much, and is it Thursday? Good night.